Click Stuff is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at LuckyDiceCafe.com. Hey everybody, welcome to Clickstop today. This is your host Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everyone know that Clickstop is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, the world's largest hero clicks retailer. <clears throat> Check out Hero Clicks New and Old on Trollandtoad.com and use coupon code Clickstop for 5% off your Hero Clicks order. Pre orders and merchant items do not apply. If you like what you're hearing today and uh, we're uh, helping tickle your Hero Clicks. Um, whatever, I don't know, whatever you'd call it, your Hero Clicks Pickle. Check us out, patreon.com forward slash clickstoff. Dollar and above gets entered into our monthly giveaways. Five dollars gets entered into our exclusive Discord channel where we talk about uh, Hero Click strategies and tactics. Um, J- January's giveaway will be a Brick of Empire uh, for our patrons. So that should be launching here in the next few days as today is New Year's Eve. So joining me today is Tyler really wishes he could know the new symbol Spees. <laughs> sure. They're do better it. than before. They are. They are. Uh, and then joining me is Alex multiple Ultron Pym markers coups. No, that's already been killed, so no. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, yeah, it's all right. Well, we can talk about it in a second. Let's, yeah, we'll talk about it. All right. And then we do have a guest today joining us. Um, I never know if I say this right, but uh, Azareth Strike is joining us today. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Oh, welcome. Welcome back. So, um <sighs> Again, like, uh, so it's one of those things, like, I think I said it before, like, if you were to tell me what your real name was, or, like, if I see your real name on a badge, the next time we get to meet in person, like, I won't, uh, I'll be like, I don't know who that is. I appreciate it. It's the best kept secret in, uh, yeah. in Hero Clips. Yeah. I mean, I probably <laughs> do know it. I know I've been told it before, but I'm like, God, it's I've paid out that. you money. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I just have no idea. I so, obviously know it. Yeah. Because Azareth has played in a lot of Rock Online tournaments. So. Right. Sure have. No. I have. I, mean, I'll, I'll I have. I'll I have access. Real, like, I don't know who this person is. Who is? Oh, it's Azareth. Never mind. <laughs> so what a new player. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Just that guy. Yeah, it's Azareth. Never mind. So I was thinking about how we would kick this off here, but uh, I think I'm going to just go with this. So we're here today to talk about 2021, right? All of the conventions that we went to. All of the world championships that we attended, all of the matches that we had in person over the years, over the year. Oh wait, um, and we're done. I played more in person yeah. in 2021 than I thought I was going. To. That's true. Uh, that's fair. I um, I personally played a lot less than I thought we were going to <laughs> because I had this jaded hope at the start of <laughs> at the start of 2021 that the world was going to go consume the vaccine supply and fucking eradicate the pandemic um yeah. but um that didn't fucking happen yeah so, this is our life now yeah so um we have at least another year of uh of um the covid pandemic i believe at this point yeah. so um but anyways, I I was trying to think of like a positive way to start it. And I'm like, you know what? No, no, we just uh, we did, we had another. Well, we can, we can be thankful for the the in person events that we did get to play. In that is true. That is true. That is true. Yeah. So what? Uh, oh, let's talk about that. Where all did we get to? So we got to, we got to play in a bunch of online stuff that was really cool, right? We got to yeah. do we got to do Porter online. 
the Brad that was a Ca- really cool event. Yeah. The, that was really awesome. That was a fun weekend. That was probably the closest that we've ever gotten that you could get to like a convention style event online. I think. I regret not playing in it. You should. But yeah, thank you. By the way, thank you again, Alex, for your major role in all of that. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was yeah, the puppet. Was... I was one of the puppet masters. <laughs> that, was a, that was a really good time for sure. Um, and then we got. It to was do cool. What? To, it was cool for me just to talk to Scott Porter and like, <laughs> sure. like, be in direct connection with him for a, like a significant amount of time. And I still, we still message every once in a while. But... I just want to talk to him about. Like singer to singer, that's what I want to talk to him about. Yeah, the cool, the coolest part was I think the finals because the finals was like late. It was like, yeah. but not too late for him. But it was just me and him chilling in a Discord watching the game. Yeah, that's so we cool. were just yeah, it was it was neat. But yeah, overall great tournament, and we're gonna obviously this is gonna be a yearly thing. Now, not necessarily the online portion. We're hoping to move it to in person, but for twenty twenty two, but. This is going to be a yearly thing because I think he got a lot of good response for the yeah, Huntington sure. Foundation, and we were everybody really came out for it. So um, we're trying to tie that in for this upcoming year, but obviously we'll see what COVID does. So, so yeah, I mean, and then what? So the the start of the year, the start of twenty one, uh, we got to do what uh, Brad had at an event. I believe, and then cash bash, whatever, yeah. the cash bash, and then we got to do the uh, Chicago, whatever they call their thing. Um, <laughs> World crazy, yeah, the yeah, the clog Chicago clicks mafia clicks extravaganza or something. Um, I'm pretty sure they call it the up. I forgot that that was Chicago a World <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think it was we, like so long ago. February, I think. Well, I think they did that. So they did a pod play like summer of 2020. So yeah, it was a pretty quick turnaround, I think, in general, right? It was like less than a year, which was fine. Um, and then um, we we our first and those two those two tournaments also felt fairly close together. Like they were wasn't... they were a couple of weeks apart, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because um, and but we had a was it a new set that came out in between? No, it was still we were still in the Future Foundation meta, right? Yeah, it was still the same. It was still House of X Future Foundation meta, okay. and I, that was. And I mean, I, well, I think maybe yeah. And then we then Porter was the debut of Wonder Woman. Oh yeah, yeah. yes. And so, but I think uh, so. What so, so early in the year? I think probably the first in person event was. One of the first returned in person play was uh, no, it was Jay's <laughs> Jay Major hosted a event in Columbus. Yes, that Tyler and I went to in April. Um, so is that the one that that's not the one that PJ won? Is it, it is. It's the one that PJ okay. won with robots. Yeah. Yeah. So Tyler um, and myself and Jason. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And uh, well, J- Jason Allen, yeah, and Jason Allen, we all made four, five through eight, and then I think mm-hmm. Sam, nice. Sam got like ninth through ninth or tenth or eleventh or somewhere around there. So. That was the first in-person game, like for a competitor that Sam had played in a while too, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Um, and then so after Porter, uh, we got to go. Uh, the three of us got to go. We went to Moorhead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, play at Tommy's, Tommy's store. Play at Tommy's mm-hmm. store, uh, which Tommy announced, I think, last night. He went in their little local group and announced that they're, they're, they're going to look at what uh, starting back up for them this year. Uh, oh, boy, I didn't see that. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't know if I'd... I enjoyed going up to Moorhead, but that's a long trip for me. Like, I went up there most... That I went up there purely because it was I hadn't seen you guys in, in while, like yeah. over a year, yeah. so yeah. I was like, you know what, I'll make this special trip to go up to Moorhead. I mean, it was a great little town, but mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah, it wasn't out. a major competition. It was probably like a, a upper lower, you know what I mean, like a smaller. Competition, I think there, I mean, there was over twenty there people. Big... Jay, Jay's was over twenty, and Tommy's was over twenty. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's it was more just because people hadn't played in so long it's like there's an event everybody go yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I would go, de- I, also... I would definitely go again i mean tommy's is close enough for for us it was like... i think it's like seven hours for me yeah 
It's about yeah. an hour for me. <laughs> that's what it, that's about what it was for me. Also, it was about six to seven hours. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's see. So then after that was uh, the Clicks Cup, right? That was mm-hmm. a lot of fun. Right. Mm-hmm. That's that's what I hear. <laughs> so yeah, that was a super fun event for sure. So there's there was so I I will share this now um, because I was I was advised well it's not anything crazy Alex don't worry um, I was said I was we were not allowed to make a TikTok about this at the time um, but now I think that it's now I think it's you know it's well past it right um, so uh, there's a TikTok sound where it's like it only takes one bullet. Oh and then, God. and then it's like, you ain't got the nerve, try me, right? So if you watch TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, so Sam and I had made a TikTok of, uh, of, uh, um, every Clicks Cup is coming up, and everybody send in their whole teams. You know what are we gonna do? And then it it pans to Sam, and we're only sending Tyler. It only takes one bullet. <laughs> And then I'm like, you ain't got the nerve. And then Sam says, try me. And then it's uh, Tyler winning the Clicks Cup. So, um, yeah. Although, to be very technical, I did not win the Clicks Cup. No? Nope. Yeah. You won one tournament. Yeah. <laughs> DJ technically won the Clicks Cup. Um, that she is a, had a good showing that weekend. Uh, that is an accurate statement um, <laughs> overall, but. Um, Tyler won the tournament that I personally the one that had, most people care about. The one that most people would have cared about, yeah, just to be clear. Um, <laughs> no shade at all on Tyler. Right. And there was there was a decent a, a decent um, tur- obviously a really good turnout for the Clicks Cup considering was, the circumstances. Do you remember yeah. exactly how many? I think it was over 60. It was I think it was actually almost 70. Which yeah. is insane to me. Like, I didn't go because of COVID precautions. Mm-hmm. Also, also because of how they had to do the signups. Like, you had to sign up in April yeah. or March, and at that point, you didn't. It didn't we know. did. We had no idea where COVID was going to be. Like, we yeah. were like, we were still in the thick of things, and it's like, all right, you got to sign up. And I was like, I can't commit this much money mm. to going, not knowing how it's going to turn out. That's right. Um, and they handled that event thing. so well. Oh yeah, like the the, co- the the mask mandates. You had to be wearing a mask while you were in the game room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he had, like <laughs> and, and just like the the venue was great. Like he he definitely stellar on that one. Yeah. So I, I meant to say all that to say, you know, when hopefully things calm down again. Yeah, be even. There should be even better. Yeah. Absolutely. And then and then he may not have to have that such an early cut off i think it was yeah. also the early cut off for me that was just like man i i i felt like i didn't have enough time to really decide if i could go right yeah because he needed to have like a set number of rooms sold for, the for block, them to guarantee yeah. the, right. the the block right so for me uh, so i can't wait because I, I i'll definitely plan to go to the next one um it's just i couldn't this time it just didn't work yeah. out timing wise yeah he did announce that the next one won't be until the winter probably at the, the winter, winter the, at least the winter of 22 so uh, who cares it's south florida it's right. actually it'll be better in the winter yeah. much better yeah i, agree. I might leave my hotel room well <laughs> I, I went i went to so, that. so i yeah I I, yeah so i the the i guess the only the only uh so the, not the i wouldn't say a downside but the only thing as a uh as a content creator was um, the only person that, from the content creator side, that people like to see Tyler sat in his room the whole time of Clicks Cup, and we're like, Tyler, sure go, did. like Tyler, go have awesome. a, go have a beer, go, go talk to somebody, Ooh. and and he was like, No, I'm, I'm good, no thanks, and I'm like, it, it, <laughs> I felt like we were his, we added into his already internal monologue. <laughs> battling his introvertedness where it's just like hey tyler you should go out nah nah guys it wasn't, come on. Uh, wasn't i didn't much know of this battle. i'm next next <laughs> time i'm dragging you out of your room. <laughs> well yeah, we typically like we tip we typically did. do we typically do drag tyler out of his room <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go play with all your little friends <laughs> oh we'll see we'll see they have great room service 
And he, like, and Tyler didn't even play. Tyler didn't even play in the four hundred point event. And we're like, Tyler, you can just add two whales onto your modern team. <laughs> yeah, really. And we're like, he's like, nah, 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 I don't think so. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm sure somebody there has two whales for you. Probably, probably, probably could have found some. Yeah, but then you do. So uh, then, what was it? So after the Clicks Cup. Um, Jay had another event sometime shortly after that for Master Mold. That's right. Yeah, we re- we entered. Oh, the... that was a bunch of Master Mold. Events. Yeah, we entered a bunch of Master Mold time, um, which I won hours with sealed a sealed event. Nice. Boy. Which I you know that might be a good time. Like, so that was Rise and Fall, and I pulled the most powerful booster I think in that entire set. For sealed, Blackheart? no, it was the Gladiator Prime. Something else? No, no, no. Okay. This is even more powerful than that. I pulled Mystique and Exodus. That is pretty good. Um, Exodus is really good in sealed. That's right. Yeah. So, like the Blackheart, the thing that you just said, Tyler. Like, no, I pulled an Exodus. Like, it just kills Blackheart. Yeah, yeah you get through. Fair. Um, my control. And then, well, and then so Mystique. So I pulled a Mystique Super Rare, and she gets plus one D. She has Stealth. There wasn't a lot of Stealth busting in that set. Um, and she has Imperv, and I think Senses or Shape Change. And Kirkona Revival for Exodus. <laughs> and she got plus one defense for every adjacent character. Mm-hmm. Or for yep. each token on an adjacent character or something. Like, she she had a plus two defense pretty, rand- pretty handily. Um, <coughs> and then I had Swap Magneto. So... That's all of my, a really good piece. Uh, yeah, he's just a really good piece because he gives out all of your characters. He gives all your characters ESD. ESD, yeah. yep. Um, and then DK barrier, which is really good in sealed. Yeah, and then I uh, and flight. Um, yep. And then it also has blob, but more importantly, it also has the common saber tooth. Yeah, that so, is solid. Is yeah. that the the blades saber tooth, the rally blades saber tooth? Uh, I think so. Right, but yeah. more, more. I think you. I think he had charge flurry. So like you just yeah. packed everybody up. So what I did is I just packed everybody up and placed them in hindering. And like Tyler, you you're go. Tyler. You're like really loud, by the way. Like you're. Oh, sorry. Um. So I'm trying to see. He had. Um, he just had charge, but he had twelve attack with exploit. Yeah, blades exploit. Yeah, so like you just carried him up, and then the next turn you just yeeted him out there, and it was like a full map reach with him. Um, yeah. After you carried everybody up, like you literally just moved everybody up into hindering. It's um, a really good seal team. Yeah, and it's a brotherhood. It was a brotherhood team. Yep. So. Um, That's cool. But yeah, so Jay had the, the master mold event. Um, which uh, PJ lost. I yep, I played in that as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of people lost. So we call up PJ. Um, <laughs> because it was the uh, he lost to uh, Sky Tyrant, Onslaught, and Harry. Yeah, sorry. He specifically lost to Lord Doom <laughs> and right. dice. Like his dice, he could not prob his opponent into hitting his characters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I just say that in case uh, PJ listens, which I don't. Oh know. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and, I, I uh, still give him shit about. It. Yeah, I would give him give him some shit about that one. So, um, then that was like the August time frame, and then I don't think much happened in September. Maybe. Um, uh, no, we had the Huntsville event. Oh yeah, Huntsville. We did have Huntsville, um, and I'm probably forgetting some of the stuff that they, I think the West Coast guys had their stuff in the fall as well. They um, did. I know the Eagle Cast guys had something in the. Yeah, they had their cam- they had their camping thing. Yeah, they yeah, had their, their camping thing, and then their stage, which looked super cool, man. Like, yeah, they had, like, did look no lie. Like, <laughs> if they weren't like fourteen to sixteen hours away, yeah. uh, I'd be totally game. T- Alex, uh, they're, they're more like twenty four hours away. I would say like thirty six. Yeah, probably. no, they're not. I, they're I don't not. ever travel to the West Coast. So. Right. So it's outdoors, so Tyler won't go. True, but I uh, seeing all the pictures from it. It man, looked a lot of fun. Yeah, I would have loved to go to it. Yeah, they like barbecued and stuff. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we had, uh, but we did have Huntsville that uh, Tyler. Yeah, I won. Yes, 
Uh, Alex went to Tyler. I think got ill. Yeah, unfortunately, um, that was the event where me and Alex rolled off two fifteen. Yeah, that was so stupid. <laughs> that was so stupid. I made a huge misplay at the end. I remember yeah. that. I should have shot your stupid multiple man, and then it would have yeah. been a roll off. Yeah, and then I crit missed the roll off. <laughs> I missed that sentinel like seven times. Yep. <laughs> yep. That was um, when that was when Azareth uh, was really debuting the the Jubilee tech. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, that's I when I that's that. when I got my first taste of it, and I was like, "This is stupid. she real she real good on that map." <laughs> that's like I don't yeah. like this Jubilee anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. If only we knew how accurate that was going to be for us. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, I know that was a, that that was a fun event. Um, yeah. But then, so October, October, uh, that was oh, the yeah, the yeah. No, that was the Clickstaff event. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that was um, uh, Pat Fraser won that one with the monsters, right? And uh, the ty- the tyrant. Yep. Um, that team's still really good. It's still really mm-hmm. good. Um, and Alex got second, and uh, Tyler and I both got top eight. So that was cool. We had twenty three players for that one, I think. Um, and then we rolled into November, which didn't have. I actually, had... I actually forgot until last night that I was the runner up of that event. <laughs> oh come yep. on, that happened. No, a lot, a lot legit. Like I was like, yeah, Pat won, and I was like, yeah, that was a fun event, and I was like, that's right, I lost. Oh wait, I was there. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> he won against me. Was that, forget were you about playing that. Latveria Gladiator? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With like seven other people at that event, it felt like there was so many gladiators there because it was the first time he was uh, like legal for like no, a big no. event. I I played him in Huntsville. Yeah. Did you? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I did. didn't go to Huntsville, so I forgot about that. I played him in Huntsville. It was too, so. my first event with gladiator. Yeah, it felt like there was a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. there are a decent amount. A lot of yeah. different variants of it too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. In November, right then we went back into sort of the on the online stage, right. There was probably another there was another Northwest event, I think. Um, but then uh, I think it might be a good time to mention that as we get into November, right, the broadcast online events have really have really mm-hmm. uh, hit their stride at this point, right. Um, Shout out to Brad for those events. Those events are a ton of fun, mm-hmm. and it's basically like playing in a top eight of any major event. Like, yeah, it's like the, the best practice you can get. Yeah, <laughs> right. I would agree with that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, I, and uh, I don't know it. Uh, so then we had uh, the Critical Clicks event and yep. the. Uh, clicks in it event in December along with the Bradcast Worlds and that uh, rounded out our year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Critical Clicks event was really fun, really well run as well. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Scott and Danny for running that. And that was like 30 something, right? 30 even. Okay. Yeah, that, that seemed like good times. Um, who won that? Uh, technically, George. Oh yeah, yeah they him, rolled and, off. him and PJ rolled off at the end because they looked at each other, realized how yeah. tired they were. <laughs> yep. Right. Um, uh, that was fun. George was doing right? like George was playing scientists, and he did a like a, a throwback to his old bounty of it, like bounty stuff of if you could score 150 points off him, he gave you a con Elliot. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, it was seemed like a cool bit. Yeah, no, it was definitely cool. I definitely uh, enjoyed seeing that one and. Uh, the result of that. And then we all played in the Bradcast event? I did not. You did not. I had to drive home that day. <laughs> right. Oh. Which is the reason I did not play in the Critical Clicks event. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Same. Because I would have loved to go to that. Ugh. Now, would, would, would you have played in it? I don't remember. Did you? Where did you place in the Critical Clicks? Ninth. I actually had the opportunity. Scott was willing to pass down if I wanted it. But I was just so tired. Okay. I was curious about that. Like, if you would have played... I probably would have if I would have legitimately won it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, because I drove home from PJ's Sunday. Would have nice oh. been nice to have seen those two on two separate weekends. 
Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, it was kind of last minute. They kind of. Yeah. They were both playing separate events and they kind of come and tried they, to combine yeah. them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but it, it would have been nice, but. They, it seemed like the the Sunday event was was great though. Well, yeah, and for a while, it if. I, everybody kept hearing rumors that they were gonna have worlds, so like we we nobody was planning anything because that the assumption was they were gonna have worlds this year, but then it, nothing just ever came of it, and so we had to they had to throw it together last minute, which I'm really appreciative that they did. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, I I don't. I, yeah, I think we were. Um, yeah, they, right. I agree. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. I'm just I'm just <laughs> spill, I'm just yeah. spilling over my words. I think it's more of <clears throat> we built our own hype. Yeah. Whereas WizKids really gave us no inclination. They that did that it. Was gonna, like they but didn't I, at all. I I heard rumors from like three separate people that there was going to be right. worlds. That's so. what I mean by we were building our own hype. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But it made sense, and I think like we knew because you know they weren't really doing any in-store stuff or mm -hmm. anything like they were just going to take 2021 off because yeah. covid was just so crazy well i think and that was the pro and that's the problem uh, and i don't want to uh, is that they, they could have just said no thank you right yeah they, so it, was, right. it was the, tra they, the transparency they, is the big issue yeah, yeah right yeah. and it's so and it's like it's one of those things like so recording new year's eve I plan on having this episode out New Year's Day to kick off the New Year stuff. Um, so this may be resolved in the next 24 hours. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, be impressed. That would be impressive. But it's like there are the new improved targeting symbols on cards. Oh, yeah. And the new Empire Pact pack does not have those symbols. They and have the we, old symbols still? Yes. And we have heard nothing. <laughs> no, it's also keep in mind though, Dan, you're off this week. I'm off this week. So for a lot of major, no, I companies, understand, but there's there's no reason that they couldn't have made that. They, it's not like this is a surprise. Maybe their <laughs> graphic designers off. Maybe they could like maybe they could well, make they a, design maybe, these figures so long ago. They, they printed these figures so long all this ago. stuff was printed a long time ago. Yeah. There's, there is I, Eternals. my problem is is that I don't expect a fix this week I expect yeah. I would like to see an acknowledgement I would like to, and, and, I would and like a, to know what a symbol so those figures are legal right now uh, they are symbols, not they are not legal oh, they're not? The, the Fantastic Four pieces are not currently legal I looked it up yesterday when do they become legal? Um, uh, it would be the first weekend of January. Yeah, it should be January. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Okay. That's, now they're so they're. I'm just listed. saying. Just I, no, they, they're currently listed. They are. Oh. Yes, they're at the very bottom. Fantastic Four 2021 storyline organized play that game, figures legacy card and team up. That is new since I checked earlier this week. So. All right, they're right. legal as of today. Yep. Yeah. So, at least for oh, us, they can update that. Okay, so they can they're update. currently legal, but that symbol is not a hero click symbol. That's they, right, right. So what I would no what, pack. what I would like to see is just from like a transparency perspective, I would just like to see yeah. an acknowledgement and that a we are looking into it. We are going to fix it. Hmm. Something, a tweet. <laughs> I this, like it takes some it kind of roadmap for this year. I would love that. Oh my god. Well, goodness. that that would definitely not happen. Because there's <laughs> well, think about it. Think of how many delays we had this year. Right. Yeah. And set fair. releases. Well, and more like, just like what they want to do with their in person play. Right. Well, so like, and, 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 I, said that. and I get so right, and but these kind so uh, we normally don't hear about official things, right? So I, I've looked into it myself as far as like running an event at origins because i just like the only way to like learn what they go through is to just look into it yourself mm -hmm. right so there are negotiations there are um you know securing of things and they don't get all of that done until a few months before the event yeah. so that's why they don't tell us that beforehand um and as we've seen with their shipping Right, this past year, this year, this 21, 
they don't have this stuff just sitting around waiting. They're, they are a very much a just-in-time shipper, right? Maybe a little yep. bit, maybe a few weeks, but they are just-in-time shipping, which most most businesses are these days. Um, and just in That's time, why we have the shortages. Right, and just-in-time shipping, right, is more cost-effective, but if there's a delay at the port in California... It ruins it everything. Bad. It gets every, it ruins everything, right? And this is more than HeroClix, right? This is a very much a nationwide or a, a worldwide yeah. standard practice, right? If you look up just in time shipping, just in time manufacturing, um, you know it. Don't it, get me st- don't get me started on lumber prices. I could spend the next yeah exactly uh, like fifteen minutes explaining why lumber prices were so high at the beginning of the year. <laughs> it's for exactly what you are talking about. Demand was so high. Right, that the, it before met the at will. That's right, shipping, so. because well, that that was a it was a forecasting mistake for the world, right? So well, and short and shortages because of COVID, things shut down. Right, demand didn't go away. Demand but, increased, right, on a yeah. lot of things. So. Yeah, everyone was you know doing stuff at home. So like I, for example, I went to IKEA a couple days ago. Um, because I was going to get stuff to build a, you know, my a new office or something like that, and they had like nothing. Like they were bare bones in a lot of areas because everyone one because there's a shortage on all their stuff. Two, there's such a huge demand because everyone's working from home now, so everyone is updating their offices. Everyone is trying to like, you know, I'm not spending the money going out anymore. Let's just update the house because we're staying in. Right. And so that's what everyone's going through, and that's. You know, you still have those shortages that happen, and we're going to feel this for years to come. Like, this is going to be a thing for everything, not just hero clicks, but like a lot of different things. There's yeah. going to be a shortage in general. Yeah, I agree. I agree completely. Um, but it's like one of those things. It's, um, it, you know, but so then, but from the other perspective, right? It's um, the negotiations for. Oh my gosh, what Sorry. was that? Sorry. Um, it's like, it's so then, but then they also have the convention things, right? Um, you so, should just play that, Tyler, anytime you want to give a response. <laughs> you don't even have to talk. It's so, oh gosh. So, but, you know, there's so there's a lot of things that can, that, that stops us from being able to know what 22 is going to look like. Um, but I would like for them, so here's what I would like, here's what I would like to hear early this year for 22 is not a roadmap, right? Like we all like, so we just, that's what, so we baking off what Azra said here is that we would like to see a nice roadmap for all of 22. I agree. I would love to see a PowerPoint presentation with everything. Isn't that, isn't that what... (laughs) Is that what open house is? Right. Alliance open but, house. So, but I'm just talking about what I would like to see at the bare minimum. At the when bare, is Alliance open house. Uh, Alliance open house is in the summer. Um, the the one that we would want to see is early this early in 22 is the one in Reno. Um, if yeah, that, there's two if, of them. If that, if that two happens. different pr- presentations. So right. Um, but what I would like to see is, yes, we plan on returning to in-person play in 22 following the path of covid or whatever covid trends or whatever words you want to say however they word that um but we plan on hosting a world championship this year well they they did say that right well scott posted that as a comment on facebook um but that that's that's not that's not really the, the way. That's, still, that's not really the way to do it. Um, but there's still there's still so much up in the air. I mean, that's why we ultimately didn't have worlds this year, is right. because the first half of the year was most likely them anticipating having an event. But you know, because we kept hearing each almost every single convention, we're like, oh, is Whiskers going to Origins? Okay, no, they're not. Uh, are they going to Gen Con? Maybe they're there. No, that's not happening. Well, they were there. They uh, sold cons. We did get right, that. Right. But I mean, like, but like tournament wise, like we were all hoping, oh, is it this one? Is right. it, you know, there was that brief second that we thought they were going to go to PAX in November. And we're like, oh, yeah, maybe it's going to be in PAX in November. And then we're like, no, that that's not happening. But I think 
what you said, a lot of it had to do with the Connellys because we knew, you know, we, we had heard probably by mid 2021 or earlier when the master molds were rolling out and whatnot, there weren't any 2021 Connellys made because all the ones we got were 2020s that just never made it out because of COVID. Right. So we know 2021 Connellys, unless we get them next year, it just didn't exist because you know they're made a year or two in advance and in 2020 we were deep in covid so they just didn't make any because who knows how the world would have turned out and that was when shortages were even worse so i think it was a combination of well we don't have the connelly's to support a, a major tournament um like we have some but not enough and they're older we don't have any for 2021 so oopsie and then you know, they don't want the worst case scenario for them. And this is me being the social media marketing guy. The worst case scenario is hosting an event and it getting terrible press with a lot of people getting sick. And like that completely overshadows whatever could happen at that event. If you play Hero Clicks, have a big turnout, 200 people, yeah. and then people die because of COVID from there. Like that's. That's just going to overshadow any cool stuff that could happen there. Yeah, it and, kind of puts a sour mark on the event. Exactly. Yeah. So, but they don't. Obviously, they didn't want to host something um, themselves with that risk because that risk existed until the end of last year. I mean, we didn't really get that big of a break at all, and not enough time for them to quickly organize something. Because by the time, because you know, it, the background of organizing something like this takes months and you also have to make sure your locations right. are available and you know there was a time early in the year you know they weren't like memphis for example you know there was the big mask mandate you couldn't even host tournaments in memphis because it, they had the people limit you know a lot of places had a people limit right. that was the concern for the clicks cup too was at the time when things were planning in april there were was oh you can't have more than a certain amount of people in the room right and uh, and eventually I think that lifted right but so you know it's I, mean, it's I get all of I, th that. I think everybody gets that but like two you know you know the schedule's probably pretty open for the say Memphis and it just probably came down to shipping delays right so I I said this earlier in the year is that my ideal for <laughs> Memphis this year would have been like. Call it something. Call it the Wiz Kid. You can't call it Worlds, right? Because you know you can't have you don't have Worlds participation. The world can't participate. But you call it the the maybe not even call it U.S. Nationals. Call it the the Wiz Kids 2021 Memphis Open. I don't know, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to give it a, a, a one yeah, of the can... give it give it one of the other labels, right? And then just give us whatever you got in the warehouse. Right, well, like, don't forget. like people would have like I, I I think people would have showed up to Memphis at the end of the year to play Incredible Hulk Battle Royales. Uh, Probably. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'll say that along with the 300 modern tournament on um, tournament. Obviously, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I will say, but, but real side note, that is probably what I miss most about this past year is I didn't play in a single sealed tournament. Um, I love sealed tournaments, like as an offside, like okay, uh, like a build up to a 300 modern tournament, like they do at like the Rock Cup or at Nationals or whatever. I like those right. type of builds up because it gets your mind thinking about hero clicks. But I don't have to worry about team building and like, like you do in the moment. But like, I don't have to sit here and think of like, okay, I You're not to stressing for... over it. yeah. It's more of like, okay, I, I get what I get. I could play it out, and if it doesn't work, I could blame getting bad figures. Like, you know, it, so it, we didn't get any of that. And, you well, know, we didn't play any very much local. I mean, there may have been some, but still the Clicks Cup. <laughs> well, yeah, the Clicks Cup is probably the closest we got to a big tournament was sealed. And I know you, we don't talk a lot about sealed in the grand scheme of things, but it, it's when you don't have something that you miss it the most. Yeah. So it's like I didn't really realize it till we were just talking about it. It's like, that's right. I didn't really play in a sealed tournament. And, that stinks because that's also good for stores and a lot of other places for sealed. Right, I agree. But yeah, I think I, I think I think the only one I played in was the um, 
was, was the master mold thing yeah so but let's not also downplay um so remember in the end of 2020 we did have the online tournament that WizKids did support and WizKids did support the scott porter um event as well like they did provide a lot of the prize support like uh, almost all of it for the scott porter event and they made the scott porter pog and map legal so let's not downplay that they did nothing last year sure they didn't we were running the tournament and they joined us and that was a lot of scott going to them scott porter going to them and right. getting the support but they didn't do nothing. They did right. I don't think anybody said they would do. I don't know. Did I say? I don't know. If I said they did nothing, it was not my. Well, uh, you know, when we word. talked about the when we talked about the Scott Porter event, we didn't mention them, and I and I should have done that. You know, WizKids did support the event, so it was right. a WizKids sponsored event, which is something they've at least like they at least showed that yes, they want Hero Clicks to happen. It's just they can't. They didn't feel comfortable doing things themselves because they also don't have like an online like an online capabilities to run anything everything's in person and there's a lot of logistics to even do it in person so because you think about it i mean the whole reason what rock was brought along was to help organize hero clicks tournaments throughout the country because whiz kids had the opens which still relied on individual stores but they don't have a huge tournament organization system you know what i mean like they don't have like oh yeah whiz kids is going out to all these different locations whiz kids goes to origins and then the worlds and that's basically it year to year right, right. like but you know i think but i think that i mean the raw the, i agree with you tyler or, or alex sorry Thank i you. agree i agree with you alex <laughs> but it also comes down to yeah that takes some time and stuff but it goes down to it goes back to an issue like that, like where they sponsored the Rock to do it online. I, I get that, right? That was fantastic. But you see them not doing that themselves, along coupled with the issue of not even being able to acknowledge that the symbols on some cards aren't in the pack. Like I'm just well, an we, acknowledgement, right? We're just I, it just it, it you come into a compounding thought there for a lot of people that we would like just a, a little bit more, just something a little bit more than what we're getting right now. I think, so, uh, just real quick, we can mm -hmm. probably just wrap this up by saying, Mo, oh, everybody agrees that there were circumstances this year that were unavoidable for WizKids, and we understand that. But there's also very fair criticism to be levied at WizKids for transparency. I think that's yep. just true oh, on both sides. Tyler, I think this is the first time in a long time you've moved us along on a conversation. <laughs> well, okay. so, one thing I, I agree. I do want to say one last thing. I do want to say one last thing. All right, mm -hmm. and, and it's a positive and a negative. Um, we don't obviously see the things behind the scenes that goes through their judges, through play <laughs> testers, through whoever catching things before they go out the door. All we get to see as a community is WizKids reacting generally late to things. Like when the rules came out and we got the comprehensive like a month later. Like that was a big to do. People were angry because like how can you not have the rules when you say the rules are coming out? Like that was a big to do. So this is just another example. Like they probably do a lot of things proactively and catch a lot of things proactively but i think when it comes to print then they become very late reactive wise and they take a little too long at times to react to things now they can pu pump out the erratas like venom rogue for example they were able to pump that out easy but remember the house of x team up cards that took forever for them to come out and fix all of that like wasn't it uh it was like a month later or something yeah it was a while yeah it was a while afterwards for them to finally issue those erratas to fix all those team up cards that were just messed up but it, it, for other things it's like oh immediately so for this I, I would chop some of it up to the holidays but yeah it's just sometimes they're just a little slow on the reaction when it's something now in this case you know the metrics behind it they would have to 
come up with a website, a web page that showed these symbols and detailed what they are. And no, they uh, won't. Well, they do, yeah. You no, can't. They could, they could literally just make a Facebook post. They don't, but they they don't do that. Well, no. So but like, no, no. So <laughs> no, no. It doesn't make whiz code. That's the criticism. That's the criticism. They don't need right. To. So like right now, they right, right now, we don't know. Right now, Alex, we don't need a web page. Right. All you got to do is just upload the file. But there's no file. That's what I'm saying. I don't there's there's got to be. Should there's got to be a file. It made it to the cards. The graphic someone design. At Wizkids, someone at WizKids knows what those symbols mean. Right. Like, I'm not... So, knowing that that's on the car... I'm sorry, I know that, that Tyler... Well, I'm going to move us along here right after this. But, okay. but Alex, for me, from a graphic designer... Right, I'm not a graphic designer. But I see how quickly graphic designers can whip stuff up when the foundation is laid. Yeah, I do it all the time. Right. Yeah, you... you yeah. You, with the files could solve our problem in an hour. Yeah, but also think of the chain of command. The graphic designer makes it, and then it has to be stop, 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 stop. Nobody cares about the chain of command. Nobody cares about the back end. Nobody cares about any of that. The only thing that we care about is the end result. If they, If the end result is negative... Then it's their fault for not dealing with the back end stuff. That's right. It doesn't matter if it's complicated, it's their fault because and, they should have had it done. And as a middle and as a I don't know, upper middle manager and for the and my actual real life job, nobody cares about the chain of command when it comes to an issue. If you're if your no, chain if, if your if, if your chain of command isn't empowered to make decisions that are easy if they can't fix easy things without going up the chain of command, that is a problem. That is a corporate structure problem. And uh, uh, I mean, in this and instance, now and now we're. Whoop! I'm just going to go ahead. End of year awards. Azrath is probably like Azrath is probably like. Why am I here today to listen? <laughs> no, he probably very interesting the, the only last thing I want to say, real quick, oh my God. is that no, no, it has nothing to do with this. Is that I feel like for the longest time. Wiz Kids needs a big community manager, like someone who is out there. Like everyone draws to that's what Kenny does, but that's not really what Kenny does, right? Like that's not his title. Is Hero Clips community yeah, manager? A community he, social media manager. Yeah, they need a, a face, kind of like what uh, they have, like on their Wiz Kids socials all the time. Like Hero Clips just needs one. Period. That can go out, address these problems, like you said, Dan, make these decisions, and be like, yes. <laughs> We will get you that or address any of these issues and stop being behind the scenes. I've said this for years. I've been trying to apply right. for it. Um, and WizKids and... has that for their other products. Yeah. So anyway, yes. end of the year. Right. End or of the wait, year. do we do, do we want to talk about 2022? Didn't we like just what... do that? No. We're, we're no, hoping we talk... that there's going to be in-person play in 2022. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think and, that's I think that's it, right? Like, I want to see Origins, June, Nationals. I want to see well, so September. They, they did. We we. This is one good thing that they did. We we did ask, you know, hey, we're in the complete dark, twenty twenty two. We're criticizing them. Then they did make that post where they said championship events are coming back. There's um, in person events are going to come back. There's several. They mentioned several of the. Um, organized play events that they're going to do so yep. they did there is stuff on the horizon and i do and the one of them came out yeah yeah one of them did come out um a little yeah, confusing so. but it came out because they <laughs> did come out and they're called play at home kits yeah but because you know they want people to be able to just take them home but they're also there for the stores yeah because my store got them in and you look at like my store got them in and he's like yeah we got our empire stuff in and i got way too many play at home kits for it and so I ran over, and he got two Empire Play at Home kits and four of the Fantastic Four storyline. <laughs> but they they all said Play at Home. So he's he immediately looked at it as like, oh, I I didn't order six Play at Home kits for Empire, because Empire also says Avengers Fantastic Four on it. You know, it's like Fantastic Four slash Avengers Empire or something yeah. like that. So. If your store hasn't said they've gotten the storyline in, maybe you need to check with them oh. because they may not realize they got it. So, so I just I just went to go I I just went to go look at um I just went to go look at the to find that announcement again. Um and the the only thing so if you go to Hero and that might have been released through the retailer channel, 
which I get that. But like if you go to the whizkids.com forward slash hero clicks, hero clicks events are currently on hold. Nobody updated the webpage. The press room page goes to the 20, June 2020 ex, uh, June 2020 update. Um, and then the press room for hero clicks has nothing, uh, no announcement uh, about it at all. Yeah, because there's no annou- events to announce. Saying no, that's what I'm saying. That that that, an, that announcement was only through the retailer channel. Yeah, which was which puts it on the onus on the retailer to disseminate to their um, people. So. Well, that's how we find out about sets anyway. We don't find they don't make a big announcement for us for sets. We find it out for the people that are like, hey, there's a new pre order. That's true. And we're like, oh, hey, cool. Well, that, that, like, anyways, anyways, end of the year. How about those awards? Uh, uh, awards, because that is also bad as well, Alex. That, that we <laughs> yes, have to I find know. Out that way. So, um, yep. Tyler, I'm just going to go through the awards as they're. Uh, I went to oldest to newest on the. Um, like I scrolled down in our Facebook group, so the one that yeah got the, I posted them in an order. Yeah, yeah you, well you no notifications I received from Tyler on Facebook. No, the well, so if you go in the Facebook group, <laughs> the um, it, it's sorted by the one that had the last amount of um, uh, votes. Oops. Like the last, it was the. Oh, I'm just doing oldest to newest. Okay, so, so let like, me switch to that then. So yeah, because it did post and like a, with some of these questions, were we giving honorable mentions for Empire or no? Not? Empire's okay. pushed to next year just because okay. Empire's going to be in 2022. Now, I mean, we can. I don't know if you this year. You're just like, oh my gosh, oh, I want to talk about that. I mean, that's fine. That's what we just we can get excited. It's fine because we're most we're most it. likely going to forget to add Empire next no, year. No, 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 we're, no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> It's a year from now, guys. We're gonna be sitting here yeah. being like, "Man, can you believe?" Blah blah. blah. I'll be lucky. I remember Man, is there is there a way to close voting on a poll? No. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I don't think so. Just what? It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just just leave it rolling. Oh, I haven't voted on some of these. Let me vote real quick. Well, <laughs> so the first <laughs> one enough. is the closest, and it's one vote difference right now. Ooh. So wait a minute. Are we talking yeah. about oh map of the year? Map of the year is the first one. So yeah. Is it between Negative Zone and Other Castle? Yeah, because that's a really hard choice. <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah. The first one is Map of the Year. These are just as a preference. These are things that are only released this year. It doesn't matter if it did well this year, but it was released last year. It just released this year. <laughs> that's um, right. So Empire, Empire, it, on here <laughs> em, Empire, Empire, not legal. Items only yeah. released in twenty twenty one. The cream of the crop of items released in 21 that have had a chance to perform in 2021. 20, yep. So we're doing items? Stuff. Well, he just means like oh, okay. El- okay. game elements. Oh, elements. Ga- ga- yeah. yeah, game things released, right? Gotcha. All right. So the first one is map of the year. Um, there are four options. Um, basically, I put on there. Nobody added any more, so <laughs> this seemed like the best one. Um and it's funny because three of these are re-releases. Are yeah. <laughs> I was just yeah. that. <laughs> so it's kind of 2021, but uh, but yeah. So winning currently, this could change because it's one off. But winning well, it, no, it, it is winning it, when when we record this episode, like as in it's this closed. Start, it's closed, right? So if it changes, if it changes when you go back and look in the Facebook group next year, tomorrow, the next day, it uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't count. Actually, True. right now I see a tie, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. Did you vote on it? Yes, I voted for Other World. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, fine. You can cancel it if you want. That's a hard choice between those. It, it is. I, I'm okay with that. So, it's okay. Um, I, just, I just put another vote towards negative zone, so. Just... <laughs> god damn it. This seems like cheating. No, just. So, it's... Other World Castle, Negative Zone, Doom's Castle, Latverian Village? No. no. Doom's Castle was last year. Doom's it was. Year. The other two are Mount Olympus and then um, Hyper RPG Studios, which is the Scott Porter um, event. Um, I just don't see those other two even holding a candle in, in return to the other two. I don't either. I personally. So, as of right now, as of the last two votes, um, Negative Zone did beat it out. It's 37 votes for Negative Zone, 36 for Other World Castle. And then the, this third place is two votes for Hyper RPG Studios. Um, but yeah, these maps. I love that map. I love 
Viper RPG. Sure, yeah, I do too. I like Mount Olympus. Um, but these two maps have dominated this year for sure. Um, Otherworld Castle, obviously because of Jubilee. Um, yeah. Robots also played it a lot. It's just a lot of elevated. It's a really good map. Um, Negative Zone is just the, the current flavor indoor closed off blocking terrain map um, they're also both has... oppressive maps for different reasons yeah they i don't think i actually don't think either of them are impressive i think they're really good if you don't have a way to deal with like a good way to deal with barrier negative zone is oppressive i disagree i think yeah. it's fine to have indoor maps that have blocking any the, my like metric for a bad indoor map is when i can't just move across the map where it in 24 movement you know what i mean like i have to go side to sure. side. sure i, I meant like movement. when playing against a team on negative zone if you don't have a way to deal with barrier it's a very difficult I, to deal with map yeah and i think that's okay i think there should be indoor maps that are good with barrier um, in it, other world you're good i don't i haven't yet played on negative zone wow like go legit, really good no product. one. Yeah, go, I mean, go, I've, go ahead I've and just it. just go ahead and be happy with yourself. Like, be happy with your yeah. life. No so, one. Well, looking at it, it just reminds me of the prison map almost. But it's because it's sense. yeah. So but, let me ask you this question: You play Molecule Man a lot, right? Uh, yeah, but That's I, why. I, well, no, well, no, I haven't seen it, but it's also just because. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's fair, but it's, it's also. also a four by four map, which is cool. I like four by four maps. Four by four maps are great. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like Iron Man's Workshop. Mm -hmm. so I, I'm just thinking for something that's come out so long ago, because it's early 2021, because yeah, it's Future Foundation. Yeah. I've gone the whole year without playing on it, which seems odd. I, yeah, I would say yeah. you're yeah, you have an atypical experience. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, Castle can be oppressive if you don't ignore Elevated for. <laughs> right, and that's why I voted Otherworld Castle, even though it came out. Like pretty a uh, decent amount later. When no, did that? It was House of X. Oh, House of X. It came out earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, it didn't really take off until Switch Out became a thing. Because it's Jubilee. Um, yeah. No, I mean Tyler. Uh, not Tyler. Uh, PJ. Robots robot. Robots played it immediately. Because was this a was that a Rise and Fall map or a f f future House of X? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, the House of X map. Yeah, so it was played pretty much immediately. And it was uh, before the rules changes. So robots really liked it. Mm -hmm. Well, no robot. What was the other map robots played on? No PJ. Uh, PJ won on the, this one. PJ won. Sentinel Factory. Uh, yeah, PJ. Factory. Yeah, the the robots of twenty twenty where you could pulse wave, knock back on Sentinel Factory. Uh, but PJ won. That was that event of Jay's was the first uh, event with the new rules. We played new rules without. Wonder Woman set being legal. Yep. Um, gotcha. So, um, All right. Next one, Tyler. Next, yep, next is a best sculpt, and I let people add to this because it's pretty subjective. Um, and coming out, surprising me, I didn't even add this figure to the um, pod, but coming out on top was King Shazam with 57 votes. Yep. And then second was Old Man Phoenix at 38, and then a steep decline at Cake Deadpool at six. Yeah, so, I voted Old Man Phoenix. King. Yeah. So Deadpool. what was crazy to me about that this one in general was um, we got the new sculpt sides this year, we, which we yep. haven't talked about yet, really. But um, uh, Sam last night in our casual event played Mary Shazam. <sighs> Mm -hmm. And if you haven't seen Mary Shazam in person, it is also a, a gorgeous sculpt. Yeah. yeah. She looks really um, good. And we have gotten a lot of great sculpts this year. I think the new scale changes are have, oh, been, great. have, have been great, right? They were really met with a lot of uh, tentativeness before, but uh, now I think we are in our, uh, they're in a really good stride with that. Mm -hmm. My and, honorable mention for that for Th for Empire is Thor, and Venom, Nito and Venom, Iceman. There's gonna there's a lot of candidates in there for next year for sure. Right. Yeah, and people people also forget you know once again that was a good announcement by by Wizkids you know when they made the announcement about bigger figures, but they also mentioned in the figures you know it wasn't that they were just getting bigger, but that they were actually going to be able to be more detailed. Yeah, more yeah. dynamic. And I think yeah. people for I think people forget that part a little bit too. Like when I think back on 
what they've changed. It's like, oh yeah, they made them bigger. It's like, well, they made them bigger and more detailed. Like they specifically yeah. mentioned that multiple times. I th this has just been a common theme. This is this is the one aspect that, like unanimously, Wiskin has been killing the sculpts the last yep. year and a half. Agreed. Um, just every set is really really good. Even even some of the commons and uncommons are are pretty great. Um, Look at Venom Marvel Girl from Empire. She's a yep. rare and has a killer sculpt. And I think um, and I think we can agree they've gotten better over time. <laughs> Because okay. remember, House of X was kind of janky. Like, yeah, their the Corsair was like a freaking giant. I remember <laughs> pulling him, and he's like bigger than like everyone, and he's just pointing. Okay, they, they got better as sets released. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this once. I'm gonna whine a little bit. Okay. Uh -oh. I I personally feel like Juggernaut should have more than two votes here. The Juggernaut sculpt <clears throat> is so cool. It is what? a good sculpt, but it's up Man. against a lot of good competition. I guess, but I just, oh, I just want to whine. It, it, I love this sculpt. <laughs> it's a great sculpt. It's a good figure too. I wish it had. Mm -hmm. I wish it was able to see more play. Yeah. I wish it. I wish it had more walls on it. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I mean, if you look at once again, it may be what we were just talking about. They were getting used to building figures in this new size, but I mean, if you look at like you said, Venom, Magneto, Shazam, they have the stuff coming off of them. Yep. Um, like it makes sense. Like there is rubble on here, mm -hmm. but when I compare him to some of the other Juggernauts, it's like okay, he's running, but I want to see him run and bust through something. Like, like imagine this. Imagine Juggernaut in Empire. Like with with how they had progressed in their their sculpt design. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Tyler. Why couldn't you have won later? Uh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, when they asked me for the sculpt, I I specifically asked for him running through like a low like a like a wall. But that, I'm so happy with. It. Anyway. No, he's still he's still a great figure. Okay. Like, yes. Yeah. All right. Keyword of the year. Um. This is a new category. It's pretty interesting. Um, it <laughs> so Lavaria ran away with it with fifty-eight votes. Uh, second was X Men with nineteen, and then Scientists with twelve. I I personally think X Men Brotherhood should be at the top of that list. I kind of agree. Um, well, you know what? Brotherhood didn't even make the list. <laughs> True. <laughs> but I think I think I think yeah, I think. Yeah, I think, think modern just doesn't make. Or yeah, I, Hellfire. Never mind. I, I think uh, I think though whenever you vote for X Men, you're I think whenever we we say that right, whenever you vote for X Men, you're voting for Professor X and Magneto. Mm -hmm. Like that's how that's I right. feel. That's how I feel whenever I say X Men. Whenever I say the word X Men swap, I, uh, I I'm an inherently saying Professor X and Magneto. Sure, not. Sure. <laughs> but um, I, I don't think I think if Latveria didn't have Molecule Man, it's not even close compared to X Men. I might agree. I, I to me, Latveria is too high on this. Latveria is obviously a great keyword. Um, and I wonder if people are are like counting Latveria in the fact that you can do all of this stuff. They are for because sure. of that's... Annihilating Conqueror that aren't actually Latverian keyword. They whoa, are. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I think that's have that you still ever makes have you, keyword. Have, have you ever tra time traveled or been to space? Welcome to Doom's Castle. Okay, I, I have actually. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, here's how I view the disparity between the two. Think of it like. Uh, Hall of Fame, or not Hall of Fame, sorry, Player of the Year voting in like baseball or football, they don't look at your recent winnings, sure, they sure, look at sure. it throughout the year. X-Men, throughout the whole year 2021, has been okay, but really exploded in the last three to four months. Latveria really exploded in February when it came out, and has just consistently gotten better, just, or about the same, but consistently placed and consistently did well. X Men in the past three or four months—that's when it really exploded. I so, feel like X Men has been good all year. It has. It, it hasn't has has until good before Rise and Fall. No, pa Professor X is what really put it on the map to do the no? swap outs. Well, so uh, there Brad were definitely Brad. maggot teams that did. Well. Uh, yeah, so no revival team, but Brad was the only one that was really playing. Them. Yeah. Um. Everyone and know. their mama was playing Latveria. I think my grandfather that's... was playing it at one point. <laughs> Uh, that's true. I, I guess I just don't like Latveria being so high just because of Annihilating Conqueror. 
Yeah, that's that's fair, but that's kind of where we're at right now. Yeah. Um, it it obviously is the most inclusive keyword. Because, because yeah, if you if you add there. yeah, Sky Tyrant is Latveria, Latveria, yeah. it's like yeah, it's the best keyword. Batman ever. is Latveria. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and that's kind of fair. And you can do a lot with that keyword. So it's you fair. know what I just, it, I just think it I just think it speaks to a lot of um, Doom. Um, you know being a very inclusive nation or Latveria being a very <laughs> inclusive nation, right? Uh, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is it is 2022 or 2022 almost. And, uh, uh-huh. you know, Latveria is a very progressive country with their policies. They, uh, and uh-huh. they invite a lot of people in. Um, Doom accepts all servants. Do we need to do we need to get Jason on the call so he can disprove all of that for us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, would it would you guys feel better about this if we had changed it to most improved keyword of the year? Would that make you feel better about Laveria over X Men? Because I think if you look at it from longevity over the years, X Men has been better. Bad yeah, yeah. All of a sudden it now Laveria is better. Well, yeah, Latveria as a I, I would, Latveria as a keyword, Latveria as a keyword didn't exist before 2022, or 2020. Sorry, 2020. Did it really not? No, no, no. it didn't. Well, then yeah, that's then yes, fair. it is the biggest improvement. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. So, uh, but yeah, I, I I tend to I think I I think I tend to agree, right? But this year has been like a stacked keyword, and you know I think but I think the, but like I think animals over isn't on there. Yeah, uh, I think animals it is. Oh, it is. It is okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's I think Tyler over Bones. over twenty one, Latveria has been the most consistent performer uh, in general. So, sure. Sure. Uh, nobody voted ruler, which seems weird to me. I it didn't quite perform ruler? that great. I'm yeah. not saying not a favorite. I, it was more of a last year. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying things like Harold have a vote, Sentinel has a vote, Deity has two votes. So like. I feel like been ruler. seeing a lot of a huge uptick in successful play. So we have a ruler is not a bad keyword. Ruler is so twenty twenty, Tyler. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, just, all you right, know, next, uh, next, hey, next one. Real quick, ca- this category wasn't not bad keyword of the year, right? So I mean, if so, maybe ruler would have been on there if it was. Uh, this isn't the bad keyword of the year. All right, uh, pog of the year. Um, so this is top. Also a hard it was. Uh, top three are uh, Rookie takes it at 49 votes. And second is Meanie, which is the Poison Magapog at 23 votes. And then third is Scott Porter at 15 votes. I can agree with that. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I think that's, I think that's totally reasonable, right? Um, you know, Meanie and Eenie. Uh, you didn't even put Eenie on here. Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> um, that was intentional. Right. So, um, not, not, as if you've never used the exploit plug ever. You, uh, you one, of uh, one of them is clearly better. One of them is clearly better. So, um, but yeah, rookie. The fact that commissioner's so good and Jason has been seeing a lot of yep. play. Rookie is by and far the, the I think the above the, the clear cut yeah, for I, me here. I, I, I agree with that for sure. He, it's so powerful. It's it's better than most figures. And, and, um, and then the fact that, right, like, it's a giant with the new rules, and it has yep. its prob, and it has and two PD. bolts, and it has PD. It yeah. is a stacked pog. And, and Batman ally. Yep. Yeah. It is, and it has stealth nothing. on top of it. Yeah. Yep. It is all very, very, very good. Um, yeah, I, me, I don't argue with that at all. Like, Meanie saw success, but it's really... It, it, it's just because that's poison. It's not like a super impressive stats wise or anything like that. So yeah. I de- I can agree that with this. It's just because you uh, can run sure. across the map, drop it, and kill someone. Right. I really yeah. I really didn't pl- see a lot of meanies. So really, <laughs> I feel like Mag has been played a decent uh, amount this year. Probably because I've been playing Lord Doom all, all year. But... Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I think I'm like uh, seven and three versus meanie. So. <laughs> I would give an honorable mention if it wasn't on there to the catcher's mitt. It is. It is. It is. I, I okay. added Six. It. Uh, I voted for it actually. Yeah. I actually voted for that one for one of my votes. Catcher uh, mitt's OP. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really, really good, and it's just a free attack. People forget about that. Yep. Um, all right, set of the year. <laughs> this was less close. Uh, there were four uh, main sets released this year. There were Wonder Woman, House of X, Fantastic Four, and X Men Rise and Fall. 
Uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> I was like, there's a uh, right choice on this one. Yep, Wonder Woman takes it. Uh, this is the highest vote out of any poll. Uh, it has 102 votes for Wonder Woman. Uh, coming in a distant second is House of X at 20 votes. Fantastic Four gets 10. I, I think th- I think that is the most number of votes we have received on a poll <laughs> the whole time we've been doing Never. polls. Maybe, yeah. I'm more confused that people saying House of X was better than Future Foundation. Uh, I, uh, Future Foundation didn't have much. It had the chases and it had Molecule Man, <laughs> and that's about it. But uh, um, uh, one or two the, objects, the, objects also. Eh. But I think I think here's the thing, right? Uh, most people only put you can multi vote on these, um, but some For of sure. them and I did that a couple times, right? Mm-hmm. But it's the thing is, is like. The, the the people that would have put Future Foundation over House of X just voted for Wonder Woman. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, this is just a fair result. Wonder yeah. Woman is the most meta-defining set in... Rise and Fall was four? <sighs> yeah, Rise and Fall That's got five years. Rise and Fall was a great set, too. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I don't think I don't think so. I think as with what you're thinking is just because something is second, third, or fourth in the yeah. polls. No, that's fair. Doesn't that's fair. really mean much of anything. I don't think. Well, it's to because... be fair, Dan. You said that Rise and Fall was a low point in like four years or something. So, um, I guess X, just... and I will stand beside that. X Men Rise and Fall <laughs> is the lowest point and still the worst set in modern. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah there's... Just... Good. Hmm? But there's not a lot going on in Rise and Fall if you go back and look at it and look at all the pieces that are still being played. There's really not a ton. But now the ones that come out of it are still big, heavy hitters, Gladiator, yeah, sure. Mimic. But it's like you go back and look at it and you're like, oh, all right. <laughs> I guess that was it. So um, I, yeah, I, can see. Were not great. I just that remember was there was a whole bunch of outcry for House of X and it was that it wasn't a good set. And that was mm-hmm. distribution aside. That people didn't like that set either. <laughs> oh, yep, don't. I agree. By the way, do not get me started on house. Don't do not get me started on distribution. I would just like to go to the next poll. Yep. No, All absolutely. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so next poll is player of the year. Woohoo! Um, so how we did this was we just did the top four um, from each of the three biggest events this year, which was Clicks Cup, um, Porter event, and um, the Broadcast Worlds event. Um, but yeah. Top three in this were Caleb Reddick taking it. Or maybe you should do three to one. Well, you Number ruined three. it now. You ruined it already. <laughs> Number three. Uh, Brad Broyles uh, took 16 votes. Uh, then uh, Josefa Alves. Joe Alves took 24. And then, yeah, Caleb Reddick took it uh, pretty handily with 39 votes. Congrats, Caleb. Congrats, yeah. Caleb. Yeah, congrats, uh, Caleb. Despite, so, despite the fact that Tyler kind of spoiled that. So, yeah. I, spoil that. <laughs> so, so um, I would I would like to say that um, this was a, 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 a this is a return of the player of the year vote uh, mm-hmm. from from us. Um, and we got some comments as I expected. Why didn't you include this person? Why didn't you include that person? Which is what yeah. which is what Tyler um, is, you know, ex- explained. Here, yeah. And, and which is why I didn't really want to add the poll. Yeah. Because this is I always kind of contentious. It's always kind of contentious, <laughs> right? It's right on the edge of things, yeah. right? We don't intend to offend anybody here. We don't mm-hmm. intend to um, pat ourselves on the back. We don't intend on, you know, whatever, right? This is. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think it. It's, I, I think it, tur- it turned out fine. I think it is. It yeah. e- obviously it is. There, there are some issues with it, but I, I think it is cool to see um, what the community thought this year. Um, Caleb, obviously, you know, he won. He won the world's event. Um, he, but he, he always places super high um, at pretty much everything. He wins a lot of his local events. He places, you know, top eight worlds um, regularly. I feel like he's done that multiple times. Um, uh, Joe, obviously, he, his biggest presence this year was online. He, he won. He won probably over fifty percent of those online tournaments. Oh, and, right. and every tournament he has entered, I don't think he's missed cut. Like, right. I yeah. I voted for Joe, and not just because he's Phoenix now. Like Joe is probably one of my favorite players. Right. Yeah, he's, he's super fun to play. Getting with to play and... against him, I I think he's. Yeah, I think I think you know twenty twenty saw the because he won one of the online events in twenty. 
Um, and like, I don't want to say this. I want to say this like from a, a very positive place. Um, okay. Is well, and, and because like I think if I were to call Joe Josafa anything, like I want, I think he solidly wins like Rookie of the Year. Or like new, like yeah, he's a, he's right, a like old right, because that's a that's a that's a baseball term, right? I mean, that's still a big old that's still a big award to a get, right? Yep. But uh, so what I want to see from Josafa this uh, this upcoming year is assuming he's that's okay. Great. Is I want to see, especially with the return of in person play, is I want to see Josafa winning or placing really high on you know the next nationals and worlds that's in person um, and i i can say playing against him enough with confidence i think you'll see that right yeah i i i agree with you um yeah he, he's really do he, he uh, every time i play him he's he's a incredible player and he's um, so fun to play against yeah he is for sure hilarious yeah, he's, he's a fun guy for sure. And then third, uh, shout out to Brad. Um, he he did do really well in tournaments this year. Um, he 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 got a couple runners up early in the year. We remember that with his X Men team. Um, and then also, you know, he's just been kind of carrying the torch a little bit with the online tournaments. Uh, we all appreciate that a lot. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. he ran the world's tournament, so it's been he's been a really good community member this year. He probably would get community member of the year. Yeah, uh, that, that, was that can't be understated. Right, Those yeah. Broadcast um, events are so good for the, the yeah. Community. We obviously all appreciate that, so it was a well deserved third for him. All right, um, best meta figure, uh, one point to forty nine points. This was uh, not close. Um, <laughs> it can't be close. <laughs> it was not. I so we'll we'll go through it. So I'll do third from now on. I'll do third. Um. So third place, which surprised me, is Felix Faust at 15. Um, second is The Flash at 26. And then first place, running away with it, is Molecule Man at yep. 91 votes. Yep. Um, Faust has seen a big uptick in play recently. He has. I agree with that. But of the year, I so I could be biased here, <laughs> but Maggot has won a lot of events this year, right? Like he won it's worlds. What have you done for me lately? Kind of vote. Yeah, he it's, won it's worlds. Fatigue. It's fatigue. No, well, so you can't fatigue on a of the year vote. So, so wait a minute. So, so Tyler, molecule, man? so Tyler, right, right. So you won Clicks Cup with Maggot. You've won some. Mm-hmm. You won some events with Maggot. Maggot won mm-hmm. worlds. I get that. Mm-hmm. But what was the most played piece in all of those events? Right, and Molecule Man has won. Just as many events, it seems like um, he was he on. Ninety percent of the team. He was on Matt Ventura's winning team for the Scott Porter so, event, so he tied there. He was on Isaac's team at second place for Worlds. Yeah. So just to be clear, I'm not obviously Megan should not win. You're the Faust over Maggot. Yeah. yeah I, I feel six, eight votes feels low for the piece that won Worlds and has well you know, like done so well. This I, year. Again, I think it's it's a. Uh, you know, it's it's a people are just putting forth single votes, mm-hmm. so you're you're again confusing like anybody that would voted maggot over Felix Faust is just voting for Molecule Man. It could be because um, there's I, no argument that that Molecule Man is the best piece in see, modern. See, I that point value. I even disagree with that. Then you're wrong. No, <laughs> no, you're no, 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 no. You're one hundred percent wrong. I feel like I. I, I, Flash is as good as Molecule Man at 30 points, and he sees almost as much play, especially because there's he, he sees duplicates, the, which the is problem a is, cheating. The problem is, is that like so, like Flash, you have to play two of them. I think is where you get your most value, but it's almost like they're equal because they are on the same teams together. Most yeah, time, yeah. Uh, so I would agree with that, but that's not what the vote says. Well, I mean, if you have to play two of them, that puts it at fifty points, and that's out of the category. So, uh, <laughs> that's there you go. Got him. <laughs> because if I, did, if, if I didn't have the eight figures, if I didn't have the eight square TK flash, mm-hmm. I would probably not just play charge flash. Um, I would because he. You yeah, would, but I don't think a lot of people would because I would I would need to play Mr. Oz instead to get the 
uh, Sky Tyrant Alpha. It's possible, but that's built into the value of the piece, right? That you get that when you play them. Um, I, I... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I just think Flash does as much for its team as Molecule Man, in my opinion. I disagree, because Molecule Man is the counter to a strategy. Flash isn't. Yeah. Uh, Flash is the counter to some strategies. What right? strategy is Flash the counter to? Um... He met. He he can mess stuff up just because he can get across the board turn one. Every by... figure can get across the board. No, that is not true. We say that, but the reason that is true is because of Flash. Flash is the reason that Alpha Strike is such so prominent. But you, you can't think... use the TK Flash at twenty points. Why? Or without 30 the thirty. Points. Yeah, without. You the have 30. to have the thirty pointer. Yeah, so you right. have to have the Charge Flash. I'm talking That's just wrong. Charge Flash versus Molecule. But no, no, no! You you include that. You include both flashes. But that's fifty points. I mean, I think one it's, thing. One thing, <laughs> one thing we don't really talk about with Molecule Man is how oppressive he is in the meta, just in general, because he's a he's oppressive in a support sense. He's not oppressive yeah. like Sky Tyrant. I run across and wipe out your team. He's oppressive where I could just go to negative zone and I'm just going to chill in the back and if you can't get between my two rows of barrier I'll fight you when I want to fight you yeah he's very oppressive for just 30 points yeah. Flash isn't as oppressive he could take my object away okay but we talked about it in our team chat he just dies like consistently Molecule Man doesn't die as much because you're trying to get through the barrier to get your maybe one shot off at their attacker yeah. Because Malcolm is not attack with stealth. Yeah, right. Because yeah, because you got to remember, like, there's it's it's one of those things. It's like the Venom Magneto, right? Molecule Man does so many things, and they all work together, right? Stealth, free smoke cloud, co a cosmic energy barrier piece, right? Like, if you were to just give me Molecule Man as is, and take away now. I wanted to say this would. I'm just looking at the layers of the onion here. If you were to get, take away the free smoke cloud and uh, the conversion factor, molecule he's significantly, worse. he's significantly worse. But you're talking about a cosmic energy. He might see play. You're talking about a cosmic energy printed barrier piece with eight range outwit in flight. Right. Yeah. For yeah. thirty points. Yeah. And so he can self leadership a barrier piece. That is insane. Yeah. And the fact that they gave him his eight range conversion factor, mm -hmm. and not only that, there are scenarios he's an eleven attack with three bolts. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm. Yeah. I so, mean, I've, I, I've, I've just, I've just one, sh I've just attack used him to deal one damage before. Yeah, absolutely. I just yeah. like Daniel ping, Richards, I've given like... him energy explosion, be like triple target energy explosion. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, I agree with all that. I still don't think it should be this big of a disparity. I think Flash I, is being I, undersold. I will, I will agree, though, with you, Tyler, on the Felix Faust Maggot thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think Maggot's limited because he only goes on two types of teams, animals or X-Men. Felix... I disagree with that. He I also think Maggot is a great on-theme piece. I don't think... But what non-theme have we seen that plays him? Like, Felix... Uh, every Joe team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joe, but, plays, Joe plays him a lot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also looking at non-theme, and I I'm seeing a lot of Felix Faust more than I see that, a lot. And of And that's Maggot. why I said it's a very much a recent thing because yeah. Faust has seen a huge uptick. I will agree with that. In the past like three months, he's been seeing a lot more play. Like, hey, it's like, I, I have been seeing his phrases since he came out. I, I so I have said even more extreme than that. I think that the only reason that Molecule Man is better than Felix Faust is because of keywords. I think if they had the same keywords, Felix House would see just as much play. Uh, I, I, Felix no, no, doesn't I, get through barrier. I know. Uh, I, he kind of does. I mean, with his, his effect gets through barrier. His, his, his effect does. Yeah. So, um, Tyler, I would agree with that. If Felix Faust had better keywords, I would absolutely play him more. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, too. I'd play him more. I don't think he would see more play than Malika Man, but I, I, play I think, I think, um, I would love to see. Faust have uh, the same keywords, so then I could play Molecule Man, Flash, Flash, <laughs> and Felix Faust. Faust. <laughs> sure. um, and just... it's, it's a weird world where Mystical is not a good keyword anymore. Yeah, it's just. Could yeah, you imagine I've just tried. that being the 110 point base to your keyword, like your scientist team, or your ruler team, or <laughs> yeah. your cosmic team, or whatever, yep. your past team, or whatever, your Latveria team? It's just no, like thanks. 110 points is 
Molecule Man, hey. Flash, Flash, Faust. You know what? They can all go on Avengers now. So <laughs> just play three Steve, Steve Rogers. You have to play four Steve Rogers and your three hundred and ten <laughs> point team of Avengers. There you, there you go. Plus two yeah. Captain Americas is uh, <laughs> three hundred and ninety points in your three in your three hundred point game. I see uh, the problem. So something a little. The next category is a little bit more contested. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so best meta best figure. Best I spelled that wrong. Oops. You spelled, like you spelled quite a. Tyler, this is not a poll on your spelling skills because you spelled <laughs> quite a few things wrong, but that's okay. Really? Commissioner? Um, or commis- Commissioner? Scott, Scott Crampton's name, Blackheart uh, Wyndham. I'm surprised Commissioner d- didn't place higher in. It's because um, he misspelled it. <laughs> that's right. There you go. Way to go, I Tyler. Think, I think he's about where he should be. I think. I So I, I think he should be over Faust. But other than that, he should probably be fourth, in my opinion. Um, okay, uh, yeah, best meta figure, 50 to 99 points. Um, so third was Many Faces of Doom. Um, I just added those all together because when you play one, you play them all. And nobody, I don't think, has a problem with that. Um, second place, or he had 10 votes. Um, second place is Sky Tyrant, which surprised me, with 41 votes. And then Blackheart is first with 43 votes. I think I um, this is wrong. This is wrong. I agree. So I, I, me and PJ had a conversation yesterday about Sky Tyrant and Blackheart because we were talking about this book. Mm-hmm. Sky Tyrant is better unless the game goes long. Well, yeah. I, so I agree that there are instances <laughs> for sure where Blackheart is better, but I just think if you're looking at the year, Sky Tyrant dominated this year. Blackheart for did sure, well sure. at the end. Sky Tyrant was <laughs> almost almost was the meta this year. If a piece was attacking you, half the time it was Sky Tyrant. Yeah, more than half of the time it was Sky Tyrant. Yeah, for sure. So I it seems like I, Sky Tyrant, I voted for both. <laughs> which is fair. Um, I cheesed out and voted for both. Sure. Um Yeah, so it, it obviously Blackheart's great. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. Yeah, let's not compare them and let's just play them together on a monster team. <laughs> right. Yeah, because they do share a keyword. Um, but yeah, it seems like Sky Tyrant should be higher. I've voted based opinion. off of how oppressive I think they are in the meta. Like, if they're... To me, what best figure is, is one that's seen a lot of play and is just... You have to plan for. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I think. If a figure you have to consistently build your team to plan for that means it's one of the best figures in the game and i don't plan for blackheart nearly as much as i plan for sky tyrant mm-hmm. like so that's why for me sky tyrant's way better not oh. that it, they do different things 25 point difference also right um, yeah um oh damn it Somebody added Herbert Blackheart Windham on this list. That is. <laughs> oh, you didn't misspell right. that. Somebody else did. Yeah, that was me. Um, yeah, he nah. is not uh, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then best meta figure 100 plus. Hey, um, you got more votes than the sculpt. True. Okay, so third place is Juggernaut with six votes. Hey, uh, let's go. Um, second place. I feel like this is wrong, but it's Sky Tyrant because he does technically have a hundred point line. I've never seen it played. <laughs> It'll but, never see play. But for some reason, it has thirteen votes. I don't it's know if people are just confused. <laughs> yeah, that's what we it's... can blame Sam. Sam was one of the people that voted for it. There you go. <laughs> and um, first place running away Emperor with Gladiator. this one. Yeah, is obviously Emperor Gladiator. Um, Daddy. Oh yep. yeah. He has seen a ton of plays since he came out. He will continue to see a ton of plays. He's a super fun piece. Uh, he's very good. It makes me meta. Kind of proud that, that, that they at least had one of my favorite characters. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this one just makes sense. There's not a ton to say about it. There wasn't... You, you Sky I Tyrant. would say honorable mention for Null, wherever he is, because Null is also seen... Null was what? released in 2020. Oh, yep. well, that's why. Never mind. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's, why, that's why everything we didn't see. blends together. <laughs> yep. well, that's why we didn't see Jubilee either in the yeah. uh, the last poll. Which um, wait, no, House of X should have been in there. So no, why Jubilee, wasn't Jubilee? Jub- Jubilee just wasn't on there, and just nobody. She didn't see play until Rise and Fall. Yeah, but still, I mean, she's seen a lot of plays, so I, I would have assumed. Yeah. As with, why did you not put one vote <laughs> in for Jubilee? She uh, wasn't even an option. Oh, yeah, because I didn't realize I could write my own options. So. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> um, <what> I... <laughs> yeah, but the 
the hundred play it makes sense. The, like there's Mimic Prime, there's Juggernaut, but they didn't really see much play. I, Juggernaut had some switch out stuff, um, but it, there was no comparison to that. Oh, speaking of Mimic Prime, where was Mimic Prime on the, the fifty to ninety nine? Uh, he was on there, I'm he pretty on there. sure. He's, uh, okay. Yeah, he was I'm on there. I'm just curious where he plays. He, no, got, he got no <laughs> votes. I added him. He got zero votes. So, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. And then best equipment. This one's always fun. Uh, third place is Lasso of Truth with 12 points. Uh, Chemical Fire with 25. And then Emo Madi running away with it. With oh, Emo Oh, I got him to say it. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Emotional Modifier the best equipment in modern yeah that i like yeah, over I, the gems it's the best equipment i agree with that <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah i agree with that it's it's so versatile um it is a ca direct counter to a lot of things in the meta um many pieces of realize mind control um shape change it gets around um it's just you always get a ton of value out of it when you use it um i think if people look at it this because uh, People that don't believe this, look at it this way. It is, at worst, perplex. Yeah, that's true. At Which worst, is... it is one perplex. At best, it's like nine. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, guys, yeah. are we are we missing something on Wonder Woman's bracelets? The only person to vote for it was Kenny. So are we, are we missing something? Is there some, like... Deep dark secret <laughs> uh, that Kenny knows about. <laughs> Kenny knows Wonder about. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman bracelets on PS4 Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting there like, hmm. He's the only vote for Wonder Woman bracelets. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Something yes. they know about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think these all make sense. I don't think I have any sort of right. Last of Truth was on the swap out Wonder Woman team, which is free in cap too. It can be good on other pieces. I'll come I don't up think with I've everybody ever seen anybody play it on the on the force um right. i don't know if i have but i know that you can um there, yeah. there are some really cool things to that. having a free attack that you can make is yeah. is useful right um, but chemical fire is just great too where's the angler Ooh, <laughs> now you're now you're speaking my language <laughs> uh funnily enough nobody added that interesting <laughs> all right and then finally uh, the big one, Met best meta figure of 2021. This is confusing. I will talk about it later. But third place is Sky Tyrant with 15 votes. Second place is the Flash with 22 votes, and then Molecule Man does take the the winning yeah. spot with 48 votes. Molly Man, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so I, the, uh, the, I can just, agree with it. The real quick the thing that annoys me is that in this poll, Blackheart has four. votes and Sky Tyrant is 15 votes. So I don't understand how Blackheart won the 50 to 99 and he's lower on this one. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Well, because they weren't, those people weren't voting for Molecule Man in the other no. vote. <laughs> I guess people that vote for Molecule Man in this one voted for Blackheart in the other yeah. one? Yeah. I guess that's the same type of player? I don't know. Um, All four of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously Molecule Man dominated this year. I, I'm not. I'm not opposed to him being first. I, you know, he. I'm okay with that. Again, I. I wish Flash would be a little bit closer, um, but it makes sense. Sky Siren, like I said, dominated the whole year. Um, I will again shout out that I think Maggot should be higher. It's probably my personal bias, but he did win a lot of events this year, um, and was played in a lot of teams. I'm surprised Ember Gladiator is just not on the list anywhere. Yeah, he, like he hasn't really won much, has he? I mean, he's been consistently in top cuts. Yeah, he yeah. has. I agree with that. I just, don't think, he, I just don't think he's in contention for the the top spot. It's like, it's hard right. No, not in the top spot. He's not even on the list. Well, no, what I mean, it's hard to vote for him when he hasn't won an event, <laughs> right? That's I hard mean, to do. Black, what event did Blackheart win? Did I miss one? Um, not a major, but. I feel, well, Gladi so Glad Glad Gladiator, 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 and Blackheart have both won um, Brad, Giants. Brad events, Brad weekly events. Sure. Right, so that's why I'm like, why isn't he at least on the list? Like someone, I would if he was on the list, I should have added him. Like I would have added him, not nearly up to Molecule Man, Flash, or Sky Tyrant, but I could see him in the fourth, the fifth slot, just I mean, with I, how how many people have been playing him and how consistently he's been making cuts. I think I think what is consistent for me here is um one through three 
are by and afar yeah. the, the clear winners, for sure. I agree and with that. none of them are more than 50 points. Yep. <laughs> right. Uh... And, what's, and what's interesting, like we talked about earlier, when you look at these three, I only consider two of them to be oppressive. I don't look at Flash and think... Oh crap! I got a plan for Flash. Nah. Like I do, I do for maybe like okay. I know they have two extra spots for TK, but like other than You're that, team build based around a Flash. Right. I'm not right. like can my uh, team handle Molecule Man? Can my team handle Sky Tyrant? I definitely team build around a Flash. Also interesting to note that's eleven clicks between the three figures. <laughs> yeah, this is an odd an odd fact, but man, this two click meta. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Two three click meta. It bothers um, me a little bit. Um, yeah. All right. So we do have. So congratulations to all of twenty one. Uh, congratulations, Sky Tyrant. Congratulations, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations to Molecule, Molecule Man. Man. So uh, I will yeah, say this: twenty one. I never thought, as myself, that I would be playing a charge piece. <laughs> and then they release and it is all the combat. charge pieces. Yeah. Right. Close so I, is the meta. I, I'm playing two charge pieces. Uh, quite a bit, right? So Flash and Tyrant. Um, although Sky by Tyrant. by and afar and above, though, Sky Tyrant is not a fucking charge piece. There, neither yeah. are charge pieces. When I say charge pieces, it's different. Um, right. But um, but Flash has charge. Sky Tyrant has charge. Blackheart can charge. Maggot makes charge. Pogs. Um, Doom and Maggot, charges. Maggot can charge too. Mm. Oh yeah, he can. Went to yeah. free action. Yeah. yeah. It's Blackheart can charge. Yep. We need to, makes guards that can also charge. We need to make uh, up yeah. a, ter a term for these pieces that have the full charge and aren't charge pieces. We should just no, call man. them uh, benched hypersonic pieces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, literally, Sky Tyrant is just a hypersonic. No, no. The, the problem is, is that Sky Tyrant is far and above better than a charge piece. He's better than a hypersonic piece. Hypersonic piece. Yeah. He is. He is by and far the best close combat piece. He is the best TK yo-yo piece without a, without with only one TK that has ever been yeah. released in twenty years. Yeah, Agreed. Um, somebody that can be TK'd and charged and go twenty squares, and then and go then move back twelve, and then move back twelve. One perplex makes it fourteen. Right. One perplex on his movement is literally triple value. Yeah. Yep. yep, because you get one on the charge movement and then two on the move back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because normally, like, oh, I'm gonna play this this figure with charge. He's gonna go and he's gonna probably gonna die. Mm -hmm. No, Sky Tyrant just doesn't die. Yeah, yeah. He moves twelve. He runs away and then he's probably and he has gonna four get stop four clicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so we do have some questions to round out today. Um, we'll run through those. Urban Lamb, will there be any significant changes to the meta with Empire out? To the meta sidelines with Empire out? Yeah, um, yeah. Scroll Spy I... for sure. Scroll yeah, pra in practice, well. real quick, Scroll Spy is as good as I thought he was. He's incredibly yep. useful. Uh, just saying that so you should get Scroll Spies. I am considering um, playing Hulkling just so that I can bring more Skull Spies. Yeah, and he, Hulkling's great because he can give them Exploiter Blades, uh, which yep. is super cool. Um, and then the other big one probably is Dazzler will make a sideline for X-Men. Yeah, she's so good. Well, and then you have Avengers switch Avengers out. Swap. So that's literally changing oh, up sidelines. And then you have Deadpool, which will make some teams. Yep. Yeah, he'll monster. be on the sideline. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. There's a lot of sideline pieces in the new set that we'll see play. Yeah, yep. so, yes. <laughs> uh, Urban Lamb, so, so he also says, what are some interesting tournament formats and ideas that can be explored in 2022? Um, oh, I got this. Absolutely. I can't... Sil Silver Age, right? The or Superior Spider-Man Age, whatever it was called. So we only, Age. yeah, it's Silver Age. I was right. Uh, that's one that I was hyped for, and I think a lot of people were. And then COVID hit like immediately after they announced it. And there's been and, one Silver Age tournament. One Silver Age tournament. That was the Scott Porter event. No, there's oh, been so, well, there's two. There's two. There's there's two. two. Yeah, yeah Click Scup also, and it was left to kind of our own devices because WizKids didn't really make a ban list and Silver Age absolutely needs a ban list. Yeah. And they no, but they no, made a watch um, they made a watch list. They made two figures. Silver Silver Age needs somebody to run a tournament that isn't afraid of Unimind. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, all right. Um, Sounds like a completely unbiased source. But and to be fair, to be fair, the the Scott Porter Silver Age was meant to be more casual based, so that's why we ran more things yeah. on there. But no one it because we have limited tournaments, like I yeah. want to see more Silver Age because I think it's a an, a unique format. It gets some of these other figures back out there. Um, it's not broken unless you really do IDs. The, anybody running Silver Age, please don't bring IDs back. No one wants them back. No. No one wants them back. That's um, a very definitive statement. Like, yes. And, and, and I yes. will 100% back it. And, and, <laughs> and, only, and only Siths deal in absolutes. Oh, you learned something new about me. That's how I'm such a smooth talker. <laughs> He's a smooth operator. Yeah, smooth um, operator. But that well, is, it, it, tournament's thing going forward. Back. No, what no. Is, it's, yeah, saying, one of you guys have to die if it's because rule of two with the Sith. Oh, true. there can only be Alex and somebody else. Uh, there are always two. Well, they don't have to be Siths, so it's okay. Um, so I, I think that's a format that you know really needed enough tournaments in order to grow, yeah. because we were limited by tournaments, and obviously, three hundred point comes first. Yeah. So new coming into the new year. I hope we see more of that as like a complementary format, so that way it can grow into like a one B type tournament or something. Because right. I, I do think it has a place. It yeah. won't. It shouldn't ever replace as the major, but it could be no, a good. It could be like limited used to be. And I, yeah. I think there's a thing with Silver Age, at least like for, I didn't. Even some of the, but I came in at like Battle World. But like the PTSD that some people have for the, for some of the figures <laughs> in Silver Age, yeah. well, Shredders. Um, What's not Shredders, is, Shredders? Shredders is the big one. Yeah, at least for me. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, let's hope that we just have some more this year. I mean, so yeah, overall, yeah. right? Just even online, right? Even between online and twenty two or twenty one and twenty, right? We just had less tournaments overall, and. Yeah. Um, we just I hope we can have more this year. Um, the different format I want is 300 modern. <laughs> yeah. That happened. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and, and I, exactly. I'm hoping, you know, we had 2020 where we had a lot of online tournaments because people were desperate to play, and then we hit major online fatigue. Oh, like yeah. Like, major. And it's only just now coming back. Like, the broadcast got very successful, I think, at the end of the year. It was successful most of the year, but more so at the end of the year because now people are like, okay, I'm, we've gotten some in-person play, but I still want to play some here. Right. I, I don't think we're going to get – I think we're just – I think the fatigue is gone because we're broken, and we realize <laughs> that uh, COVID, is, COVID is a very yep. long-lasting thing. COVID uh, is a con of fear. I, ju I just mean that in a sense that I hope and I, me personally know that you know online play – will kind of reemerge in 2022 not as the major one right. not as the major thing but back as its complementary role where it should, where it should be, should be. Right. yes um so peter melton is asking about avenger swap um so what i would like to do on that one just i am running a tad short on time myself um mm -hmm. is that uh peter uh we're going to do um the avengers tier maker list in the in the new year um and if war of the realms uh is still going to come out in february as it's currently slated um my bet is that there will be an avengers keyworded figure in there at least one probably uh, th that will need to rank as well um so with only currently the coffee and clicks event uh scheduled to happen in january um, if there is another big event that uh, is going to happen uh, in January that pops up, maybe we'll move up our Avenger swap um, list. But um, I think the easy question, the easy answer is: is running two Empire Captain America is the best thing to do? And I think the answer to that is yes. Yeah. Can I make um, one one yeah, comment yeah. on, on Go the for it. swap? Yeah, it's fine. Just for the easy way, Avenger swap speed, sweet spot is going to be at the hundred point figures. Yes. So yeah. start yeah. looking at like where you want your hundred. A hundred, a hundred ish. Yeah. 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 The, like There's the ninety to a hundred, because yeah. like you have a Mortal Hulk and Captain Marvel and Black Widow. Yeah. Like those three um, are great Avenger swap pieces. I will say, I looking at, I've looked at it a little bit. We all have, and I, 
I don't think Avengers theme team is the key. I think it's on some sort of either on theme team or another keyword that you just swap in Avengers stuff. Yeah. Is my opinion. Yeah, and what like Dan said, well, we um, we don't. I don't know if we do tier makers, but we do the live stream where we like we did with Brotherhood and X Men, mm-hmm. where we kind of lay out all the figures and just talk about. Yeah, the I would. Swap it, yeah, the what combo. It, whatever that was called, where you did right, you did the, you had the, you ran the screen and uh, did the. Uh, yeah, so it's not like a tier maker where we're like, oh, this is the best. Oh, it's that's right. You did it in. Uh, you did it in roll twenty. That's what you did. Yeah, because it's very subjective. You can't be like, oh, this is the best swapping piece because it's like, well, what are the rest that you're yeah, playing? You're we right, we you're did right. combos and we said, oh, you could swap yep. these pieces for these pieces. And so that we that's right. We plan to do that in January. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. So Alex, it takes you a little bit of time to set up that page too. So um, yeah. So, but we could probably do it sometime in early to mid January. Right. Just do a live stream where we just kind of go through and break down Avengers because I think there is enough there to play before war of the realms comes out yeah i know i totally agree with that but i mean war of realms is coming hot currently yeah yeah um but yeah so the answer to your question is an entire show uh Peter, so. <laughs> yeah as, as it should be with a swap team yep um and then bob gowan um are scrolls viable in meta with the new set editions uh, so uh, for background bob in tennessee states or missouri states in 20 uh, him and Jason both played the Super Scroll, Super Rare <laughs> in multiples. Um, yeah. So, uh, I want to say, I want to say yes, but not in like an overpowering sense. I I would say there are scrolls that will be meta, but I don't think scrolls are meta. If that makes sense. The scroll keyword will not be meta. Yeah, that's right. Scrolls where will be meta used. That's yes. I, I agree with that statement. Yes. Um, but I think specifically knowing kind of uh, inferring Bob's background, um, I would say, Bob, there is something there that you will probably be able to cook up with the new stuff. The team yeah. that you play probably got better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, he plays other stuff, but... Played um, the team. Yeah, Hulk, yeah, Hulkling he, is also a good place to start for a scroll keyword. Yeah, yeah, for Hulk, sure. Hulk Hulkling, great. scroll spy, a lot of stuff, good stuff. Yes, uh, Jesse Captain Marvel, Jesse Co- Hulkling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So Jesse Cote. All right. Somebody has to ask the hard hitting questions. Why haven't we got a Jeffrey Shark do 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 TikTok yet? Um. <laughs> I had not that's thought of that. Department. I had not. That's that is my department. I do have about three <laughs> sounds currently saved uh, that I want to make a TikToks out of, but I'm just waiting for the right idea to come along. Um, so I like that. I like yeah. that we we have different roles on this team, and it's like Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's the one that really handles the tier maker, the end of the year polls. Mm-hmm. Uh, I try to do a lot of the other social media stuff, but Dan yeah, is. TikTok. Dan is the TikTok master when it comes TikTok to click yeah, 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 like if you want TikTok, Dan's the one that does it. Right. For sure. Yeah. Um, I am <laughs> among there. other things. Among other things. Among other and things, right. Jesse, that song's now stuck in my head. Right. Yeah. So but yeah, clearly uh I have become addicted to TikTok thanks to the pandemic. Um, <laughs> Same actually. If, if, if if you see me looking at my phone at any point, I am most likely watching TikTok. Um, so, uh, Charles has a, um, hard hitting question for Tyler and I, um, so I'm offended. Oh, I'm sorry. Charles. Well, no, because he's very specifically asking about two specific teams or well, Charles yep. Constant and Paul Cote. Is um, Wales or Monsters? No. Or so it's uh will bat doom team be fielded in 22. Oh. So I think he's pretty much asking. I think the way I'm taking will that question it? will will I do I intend on playing Bat Doom in 22? Um, so the answer to that is it depends on the event size, and it depends on who I think is going to be playing in the event. Um, I don't think that team got weaker by like naturally. No, it it, it did. So here's here's the um, here's the nuance to it, Azrith is. If I expect to see a lot of jubilees, I sure, I can't sure. risk that play. Uh, That's fair. Because jubilee erasing Sky Tyrant just ruins me, right? Like it just yeah. it just ruins me, right? Like, um, and 
Um, I, I, and that's been proven statistically for me, right? Yeah. There, yeah, there are sure. other things I can do. You know, I can do the best thing. I can try to attack. I can try to do this. I can try to do that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it just comes down to I am at a, like a 80% chance of losing that game, uh, statistically speaking. Um, so it, it comes down to just research and, um, you know, thinking about what coming up, you know, just as of right now, right? Because there could be something that comes out in the meta where I, like, replace Flash, right? It is entirely right. possible where something could come out that's better than Flash. Not likely, but possible. Um, or, you know, replace Molecule Man. Um, or, you know, in general, right, there might be something that comes out that replaces Batman Waller. Um, but the team as is... Um, I give myself probably about a 40% chance of fielding it in 22, um, because of Jubilee. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you the Coffee and Clicks event, I am not going to be playing Bat Doom. Uh, so the next event I'm playing in, I'm not playing Bat Doom, so. And it, and it might be a scenario where, you know, Jubilee, despite Azeroth playing him, her, forever ago, is still the new hotness. I would say, and it hasn't been solved yet. Like as far as like countering, like no one's hard count when Worlds was happening. No one was hard countering for Jubilee at the right. time. So it was like, like oh, Jubilee's a problem. So like my current build for the Coffee and Clicks event does well versus Bat Doom and does well versus Jubilee. So uh, that's my right. that's my current plan, and it does well versus Sky Tyrant, and it does well versus Animals. Um, so so. It so what I mean is is that I feel like Jubilee's still going to be the hotness for a bit, but eventually she'll fall right. back when people start countering it more, and then Bat Doom could probably come back. That's right. You, it's, you, got, it's kind of the waves that happen in the meta. That's right. Yeah. Just, like the, just like the waves of the Roll20 dice. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh, man, I got it, Tyler. I slipped it right And I'm in. guessing the other part of that question is, will, pilot, will animals see? That's right, yeah. Paul probably. wants to know, will Tanimals, Tyler's animals... <laughs> Uh -huh. um, I may, so my animal team I think it, it's still great to play I still, I still think it's a great team you can just pick it up and play it um, I don't think that will change too much because it's every piece is very good on it it's very tight um, so I think you can always just pick it up and play it until those pieces rotate I think it'll be good um, the obvious thing that came out recently is Lockjaw um, I haven't done the math on it I'm, I'm not sure I'm not sure if it even fits on the team. If it does, it probably looks a little bit differently, uh, a little bit different. Um, but I, Animal uh, Animal Alpha for sure will be a viable team going forward. Pretty I just don't know if I'll play it because I'm building other stuff. Pretty sure we missed a huge clickstoff marketing plan. Dan, you should have been the one to really play animals because saying Dan animals. animals. <laughs> That is absolutely yeah. true. Well, you, then, then you're running into copyright right Yeah, we you, uh, can bring, you, can, you can bring those little smoothies with you to every <laughs> tournament and hand them out and say, you just got beaten by Danimals here. And like, oh, hand them oh my gosh. All right, Jack that Smith. This is a perfect opportunity. Jack okay. Smith, I'm all aboard the legacy card Thanos' meta train. What do you guys think? <laughs> after after playtesting for... He is doing a lot and has yet to die or not be useful. All right, so... I, I want to I ask Azareth real quick before we say anything. Okay. As of, what do you think of Legacy Thanos? Do you think he's good? I think he's legit. I think he's going to see a lot of play. I think he's going to be very good in the meta. All right. Um. Yeah. Go ahead, Dan. It all it depends on. It, I'm assuming it's it, what Dan's going to talk about. Yeah. So, like to me, it depends on what version of improved targeting blocking. So obviously, Tyler and I have different wants. Um. In this in this answer, right? Whether it's the improved targeting blocking everything or the improved targeting blocking destroy um but to me it really comes down to that um because if if not i, I don't think he's playable with the number of attackers that are out there um, oh he's he's totally playable either way i, I think he's just a, more oppressive he's, right he's infinitely better if he can just shoot all blocking but also remember he themes with molecule no, I agree. So I agree, but 175 is a lot. It is. Um, I, I don't. And think I think he's theme. worth every point. I don't think you play him on theme either way, just because 
But either yeah. way, you can play them with multiple commands. Yeah, you, you play everything small. Um, yeah, I think either way he's going to be played and he's going to be good. I've been practicing with him, and he is really good. He does yeah. so many things. Yeah. I will say that it is incredibly important how well you roll the gems. If you roll high on the gems, you, you are living living life. You're living the high life. You are. If you roll one every round, it's... It's much more difficult. It's still sure. he's still a great figure because just free ten range mind control that shoots through even almost everything is so yeah. good. With it's a thirteen it, attack and and ten range and that's that's why it's most the problem with most temple teams is that they get out actioned and that is a great way to counter that. You can Does he have multiple bolts too. He has two bolts. Yeah, I have been practicing him with reality gem to give him three bolts because that's bolt. just better. Sure. Um, but yeah, I think he's he will see play for sure. He's super I, super fun to play too. I mean, and it's just, I, will I love say, that figure. I, will, I got the original one. Right. So. I'll probably look at playing him. I, I will say this: he certainly enters the uh, polyhedron or whatever uh, Alex called it last week. Of the meta, yeah. Mm -hmm. So a dodecahedron, Do dodecahedron. dodecahedron. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, it just depends. I and mean, there's a lot of good options so, there. But there's I also will, I, will, I think that Thanos has just a lot more. I, I will phrase it this way. I think Thanos has a lot more oofdas, a lot more hard counters, or a lot more uhs than, than I think he needs to have. So, to be I, at the Critical Clicks event, in top eight, there was a GSX Magneto legacy. That's cool. And he said his Magneto died one game. Mm-hmm. And took no damage other than that. And he just didn't play well against George. But so, I think, like... The 175 point value that Thanos brings is even better than GSX Max. Oh, for sure. But I mean, the way the way I see it is Dark Side's all play. Dan, you were playing Dark Side. Dark Side is 25 points more. He's similar in the yeah. sense that he's decent dial. He I, can free attack. I will say I did play Dark Side, but I did trash with him. Right, but he was still playable for the most part. Like, so Thanos, I think, is better than Dark Side. Like, yeah, Thanos is much better than Dark Side. Yeah, but Dark Side was playable. So for me, it's like then Thanos is more than playable. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I'm with y'all. Because um, Dark Side is just a charge piece. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Dark Side's just a charge piece. So yeah, uh, Coed Gould asked, "Do you feel that the distribution of legacy figures still available attainable is balanced?" I don't know. See, I don't understand this question. So, so I, I think I think I, he's, my, I think my go ahead, Tyler. Go, go ahead. ahead. No. Uh, my, my assumption is that he, when I see this, I think how many Infinity Challenge Thanoses are out there? How, who who has that piece? How many of those uh, are out there? Right? Because it, it was a long time ago. I'm sure. I'm assuming most of them have probably just been thrown away at this point almost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my thinking. And I don't know. There could be a lot out there that I just don't know. There could be not that many. I am. I, I'm lucky that I'm, I'm very happy that I have one <laughs> and I don't have to go and get it now. I, I think, <laughs> I think, I think a lot of people that I think are, I, I think a lot of people that are selling their ancient hero clicks, mm -hmm. like as just like a Joe Schmo on the street. And they're like, Hey, I've got these hero clicks from my brother mm -hmm. and I want to sell them are going to be very surprised that they're suddenly selling a lot of their old hero clicks <laughs> yeah. because I think that's, what's going to happen. Because I, I do, I am concerned about the availability, just like you, because it is something that I, I've always said that WizKids could just reprint some of these figures. Mm -hmm. um, I, like, they have enough legacy cards now. Make some of the, not necessarily Con LEs, but kind of like with team up cards, like, or not uh, the legacy cards themselves. Do like a quick one off and just have you some. Can of even, these. You can even do them as like monthly OP kits. Yeah, because they're reprinting maps so like just do so i mean you don't have to use the old bases put them on the new bases if you want but just reprint so i know that costs a lot more because they have to yeah. do the sculpts and all that stuff but yeah availability is a concern but you know what i'm going to be looking at all these online hero clicks or local like hey i'm trying to get rid of these old figures 
Uh, yeah, just I mean, start through those. Yeah, like even if you go to like your old, like uh, you're traveling and you go to, I want to like um, a flea market or something. Yeah, flea market or a, a local comic store, and they have you know the little pail of just like open figures, yeah. like just sitting there, and you're like, oh, these are all garbage. I I went through a few. I'm like, is there any like uh, <laughs> witches or Thados or anything in here? Because yeah, so I mean, I definitely it, have some loose booster stuff. To, I mean, some loot, some buckets to go through at a few places that I haven't been to yet. Um. But I think, so my opinion, and someone else asked this about um, Con LEs and being able to purchase them uh, earlier this week. Um, we play a collectible game. And, <laughs> and, and people don't like this opinion, right? But it literally fucking says on the box, collectible game. And, right, like, so... There, there are haves and have-nots when it comes to this stuff. Um, but now the question being, is it balanced? I don't know. I, the, 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 the nature of a collectible game is that it's unbalanced, right? And I'm not saying whether or not I like it or don't like it. I understand what I'm doing when I go into the arena, right? Is that when you go into the arena where a legacy card has been made, you got to start collecting from the beginning. If you want to if you don't if you want to be ahead of the curve. If you want to be behind the curve, just go pay $100 for Thanos when you want to play. Him. Yeah. I think I think that's why it's a little bit uh negative for those trying to get into the meta. Like especially if they're like I'm a big Thanos fan. If you're not there on the Scott Porter videos or someone taking sketchy screenshots at a convention where they see a random legacy card, and you're not like who is because remember we saw those pictures of Lockjaw and we're like which one is it? Is it the veteran? Is it the rookie? Well, it's now, this one. Go 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 go. I want to like, be I want to be clear. We we took those pictures. That was, that was, yeah. that was Jason. <laughs> that's, we, we took yeah, that's why. That's why I said sketchy. Uh, no, through that, said. through that, uh, that dirty, that dirty glass. <laughs> yeah, the, where it looks like it was almost like a, a, like I shouldn't be taking these pictures or something. But we, uh, we will right. now. We've discussed it, and we are now going to bring Windex to all cons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So, uh, but that, but like you said, it's like almost like an arms race. Like if you aren't there at that exact moment where someone posts that one thing you miss out on the opportunity to, to rush out and get those figures at a decent price because right. everyone is rushing at the troll and toad ebay right. buying every single one they can get and flipping them for a profit that's right so but that's the thing right so it's uh, i'm not going to comment on whether it's good or bad but the arms race is known now at this point right you, yeah you, you've got to like if you're some random player it probably feels bad but Probably. it's a it's a learning opportunity, right? Just like we talked about an hour ago, right? Because I need to really wrap it up here. Is um, like within the next ninety seconds, we need to be done. Is the Wiz Kids <laughs> communication is not great, but clicked off communication. We do the best we can to subscribe. You've got to let your new Joe Schmoes know about us, right? I mean, like. Or, or Hero Clicks players and collectors, the Reddit page, um, you know, the, you got realms. Uh, you got to you got to let people know about these places. Um, Can I? As a community, you got to help your other Joe Schmoes, given that WizKids you know, lacks in communication. Right? Like they they help promote the arms race by only showing the legacy cards at a convention. Okay, just real quick, I, I I don't really have a problem with the legacy card availability too much. Um, the only thing that I that I see as a possible problem, and I've I, this is not my idea. I, somebody else said it, I can't remember who, but um, is that if I open if a new player gets into the game and opens a pack and pulls that Thanos team up card, he can't use it. He has to spend a hundred dollars to use that card. That's the only problem I have with it. Um. It's just not not something you can pull out of the box and play. Like you pull it and you're like, "Wow, this is so exciting! I have this cool piece." It's like, "No, I pulled this. Well, I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on this piece, so this I can't use this card." That's my only my only possible issue. With it. But it's not a big deal. Right, I get it. But it also like drives them. It's a it's a it's a marketing thing for a collectible game, right? Yeah, you, it you, is for sure. You buy a brick, right, and you pull the legacy card for the old Scarlet Witch. Congratulations! You're going to spend more money. Right. Hello? 
Um, <laughs> so, um, again, again, we got to wrap it up here. Rob Doan, thank sure. you for your question. The Fantastic Four storyline OP figures, legacy cards, and team-up cards uh, is its own segment in an upcoming episode. Um, so and we talked a lot about those. Yeah, we have talked quite a bit about them. So, um, final thoughts, Azrith, go. Um, really hoping to be able to see all you guys in two. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's my big thing. For sure. Agreed. Um, Alex? Uh, yay, 2022. That's all I got. We'll see. Tyler? We'll see. Um, thanks everybody for um, doing the polls, uh, voting in those. That's always a really fun time. Uh, I'm excited to do it next year. It was a really good uh, turnout this year. We had a lot of votes. And yeah, 2020 was ups and downs for sure in Hero Clicks, but uh, there was a lot of ups, and we should focus on those. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah, again, everybody, I'd like to thank everybody for being a Clickstuff fan and listener supporter and being here. Um, we, I love you guys. And I will end, you know, we, we do give a lot of criticisms of WizKids. Um, mm -hmm. I, think, I think as a community uh, and as a game, we've done the best we possibly could have in 21, given our circumstances. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to have seen it a little bit better as far as some of the events. Um, mm -hmm. But it just is what it is. I mean, there's mm -hmm. I, I can't fault them too bad. Um, mm -hmm. I would just like to see a little bit more effort. But Again, I'd like to thank everybody, thank all of our listeners, supporters, all of our patrons for a great 2021. Uh, we're looking forward to doing some great things in 2022. We probably have four episodes worth of content already brewing and um, we're thinking about doing. Uh, so just look forward to that over the next coming weeks. Um, and if you're still on uh, Malcolm Rush, you do get your episode coming up soon. Uh, the first one, the first one in about two years. So, thanks everybody for listening to Clicks Off today. We'll talk to y'all next time. See ya. See ya. Yeah.